the college basketball experience preview and picks episode for Saturday, February 17th on the sports gambling podcast network is brought to you by underdog fantasy play underdogs, pick them for a chance to win a hundred times the amount of money you enter. <laughs> yes. Promo code TCE SGPN at underdog fantasy.com for a hundred percent deposit match. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets. Yes, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today, people. We're also brought to you by the NASCAR Gambling Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Uh, and enter the free Daytona 500 contest for a chance to win a hundred dollars cash and a hundred dollars SGPN gift card at sports gambling podcast.com slash Daytona. And remember as always folks that Robin's racing. This is my team Cleese and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. Every Saturday in February, I love every Saturday really for the whole for from like August until uh, pretty much, pretty much July. Uh, but specifically, specifically love these this time period. We have a lot of big time matchups currently uh, having an all right night, I, I, a mediocre night. Um, got a lot going on on the Aztecs, and they just tip so can't uh, can't really break down how great my night has been until that game has an outcome. Uh, but if you're wondering who the hell you're listening to, first off, you can watch this episode. You can watch my stupid face. Uh, if you, if you, uh, hop on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash the college experience, subscribe. All right. Nothing like subscribing to stupid faces. Uh, if you're wondering who the hell you're listening to, my name is Colby swing at data base dad, AKA pick Don D that's not a pick. This is a pick. He was raised in the land down under where a man thinks on his feet speaks with his fists and lives by his wits. When Dundee happened, he was a superstar. I smoke and I drink and um, I don't have stress and I'm healthy. I am healthy. I am fucking healthy. That's all I need. Give me a great college basketball Saturday. You know my plans tomorrow? Besides doing a morning show, tune in. 8 a.m. Pacific morning show talking college hoop line movement with Terrell Furman Jr. I'm on a couple guest spots and then I'm talking college hoops at night. Tomorrow my day is college hoops with White Tiger. Yes, I'm excited. Um, I am joined by my co-host. Give it up for former, former video coordinator for Hall of Fame coach Bob Huggins and Frank Martin, host of the Big 12 College Experience, which you should be subscribed to. It's only the best conference in America. And host of the Ryan and Russia, which you also should be subscribed to. What, what are you doing? Subscribe to all of them. All right. Give it up for Ryan McIntyre, AKA Mana Lon Mac. How you doing, brother? Doing good. Uh, I myself will be dog sitting my dogs. Uh, my fiance is going to see her dad for the 60th birthday. So happy birthday to him. And my reward, I get the dogs and I will be bunkered in my basement watching college hoops all fucking day. So cheers, everybody. It's going to be a good day. Mac tonight. There you go. That means that dog is only going out one time that whole fucking day. And that's you it, and the, get it all out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, don't tell the uh, animal, animal, animal cruelty numbers. Uh, I'm joking. We, I have a dog and uh, look, I've taught him to piss in the house when, when the games are on. All right. Um, I mean, this is a gigantic slate, gigantic slate. And let's start off. We, we opened up the day, you know, felt like you kind of brought me along here. But I bet it. So I'm a man. I'm not gonna blame you. <laughs> but uh, Harvard, Harvard got destroyed by the Big Red. Let me let's talk about something here. 
Could the bid? Could the big red get an outright bid? No, but they could win the Ivy. I mean, they're like seven and one. So, so there's no way we can get. We should get two Ivy teams. I think this year. I think it's that good. I mean, they're just as good as the ACC, but the, the <laughs> ACC's taking up all the bids. I honestly, dude. I mean, look. I, I know the Pitt fans will say, and I'm not doing this to cater to you. But if we are talking about Pitt, then how the fuck are we not talking about Cornell? as an outright bid. I mean, their losses are to George Mason in Fairfax. Yeah. In November, Syracuse, Syracuse who, you know, who else lost to Syracuse twice Pitt. <laughs> Pitt. They beat Colgate, which is a factory. Then their other losses at Baylor and Waco. And then at Yale by two fuck out of here. All their losses are good teams. Yeah. All their <laughs> losses are decent competition. The problem is they don't have that that fucking big win. They haven't. I mean, Princeton's their biggest win, which is good. But I get a kick out of watching. Uh, I I give Cordell credit, man. They fucking press and these other fucking Ivy leagues just sh- teams just shit the bed. Like they've never seen a press before. That's why they're they've been so good this year. Is they're different. Um, their press sucks, but they're just they're the only team that presses in the league, and it's all these private school pussy just shit to bed whenever they see a press. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Uh, shout out to Nathan <laughs> Cerno. So Nathan Cerno, big fan of Nathan Cerno here. Just hit a three team parlay for 160. Got another open for a 250. Could go six and zero tonight, baby. Let's fucking go. Nathan uh, told five of my boys about this podcast. We've been watching uh, all f- for about three weeks. Shout out to Justin. Appreciate you, man. There you go. Uh, look, we rock all year long. You know, it, it just if you think basketball, we baseball just started, college baseball experience. Uh, we're still doing the college football experience, the FCS college football experiences. You know, I, I uh, that I haven't dropped an episode in like a week or ha- week and a half. There, that'll be a new episode next week with the FCS, and uh, then, you know, we we just keep rolling along. Big Twelve experience. We got we got a bunch of shit for you to check out. It, it don't stop. So, don't think this is a seasonal. Don't think this is one of those seasonal fucking jobs. All right. You got to come back. All right. Uh, shout out to Co- Cornell for looking really good. We did. <laughs> we did. We did sneak by on this cover. Wait, what'd you get this number at? Actually, I snuck by on this. Which, uh, which game? Fucking Dartmouth uh, and Columbia. No, I, 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 I push. They, they fucking. They- <laughs> Dude, they fucking missed three free throws. What? Uh, where'd you get it? Uh, no, I can't. T- I can't ask that. Okay, I'll talk to you after the show. I got ten and a half, and I, I yeah. got very fortunate to get ten and a half because the line was was you know a lot of people got nine and a half, but uh, I will fucking play my music because I don't care about those other people that much. So uh, yes, uh, fucking Dartmouth hits. For Dundee, at least. How about this Columbia season, by the way? They're 13 and 8. It's a great season for Columbia, right? Yeah, I can't believe that they were fucking up 22 in this game in the first half. I mean, fucking Dartmouth is fucking pathetic. They're the ones that are the employees, right? Yeah. 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 Get the fuck out of here. They should all should be fucking fired. This yeah. game. They fucking suck at their jobs. Well, private school pussies gonna be private school pussies. You know what I mean? They're gonna they're gonna complain about bullshit. You know what I mean? Yes. Didn't they have, I think they had some shit for football too, where they went to go kick off the game and there's like a protest on the field about fucking some stupid shit. You know what I mean? I mean, look, you want to protest, you protest. Just don't ruin football games, all right? So and that's I, in my opinion, like at that point. Everyone on the football field in uniform should be able to fuck you up. Remember when Mad Dog Curtis? There's a great yeah. go 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 NFL films. Someone in the the Baltimore Colts, which they still should be the Baltimore Colts. They've been ruined a little bit by going to Indianapolis. But a fan tries to steal the ball in a playoff game with the Baltimore Colts and their star safety. Mad Dog Curtis sees that he's stealing the ball and just fucking destroys him with a perfect hit helmet uniform. And it was everything that's beautiful about football helmet. <laughs> oh, dude, he fucked him up and it was absolutely fantastic. Do a YouTube, uh, educate yourself. It's fantastic. I feel like if you're going to do that and protest in the middle of a football game that they, that should be, 
that should be open territory. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let, let, let it go. Let it go. Um, but instead, you know, we got these things called laws and all this bullshit. <laughs> uh, Villanova 70 Georgetown 54. I did take Georgetown to the points. Did not bet it, but uh, definitely didn't hit. I thought I was going to hit this man. I thought I was going to hit this for a lot of the game. And then uh, second half uh, uh, Nova gets it done. Um, your thoughts on the wildcats getting it done. Yeah. I was glad that uh, I was glad I didn't bet Georgetown cause I was tempted, but they can't be trusted. They, they, they kind of suck. They, they kind of suck. They, they suck. They, they, they suck. are, they are who we thought they were. They and actually may get it going, but right now they fucking suck. They That's suck. They now. suck. Dude. They suck ass, man. Yeah. Avon, shout out to Avon Barksdale in the chat. Love the wire. And uh, hey, Colby, how dare Noah disrespect the Sandlot? That's a classic. I agree. The Sandlot is a classic to me. You know, Noah. Uh, no, Noah can't be trusted with his movies because you know he doesn't even know f- what fucking Ace Ventura is. You know what I mean? He has no idea what Ace Ventura is. I, I, I look. I love Noah. All right, great fucking human being. If you knew him, you know he's a great fucking guy. Top but notch. Yeah, but but if it's if it comes to certain things, it's like if you ask me, you know, I don't know if you ask me to uh, rate, you know, some some shit like uh, you know a beauty pageant or something. Actually, no, I think I could I think I could do all right at that. But you know what I mean? So, something. If you ask me something, I don't I don't know. I'm trying. I'm drawing a blank right now. Um, how about you know? If you asked me to do a fucking, uh, you know, try, re- repair, re- repair your transmission or some shit, I, I wouldn't have any fucking idea. That's what Noah is when it comes to, uh, when it comes to, to movies, in my opinion, you know, you, you can't watch Ace Ventura, you know, he's still not allowed to see R rated movies. You know, there's still idea in him if he does go to the theater, but he's, if, if he's only going to the theater, he's going to get some pop. You know what I mean? What's up, Noah? Show yourself. You were sleeping last night. The audience had some fun with it. Um, yeah, that clip went viral today. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> dude, don't is get the noose out of your hand, dude. Do not hang yourself. All right, I swear, people no. love you. All right, no. Um, yeah, how you doing, buddy? You, you sounded pretty depressed right there. No, I'm I'm doing all right. Uh, you know, it's just the allergies are getting to me. Other than that, I'm having a great fucking day. I've been raking okay. in money on the college baseball slate. So there we I go. Just, Subscribe to the Sat- college baseball Saturday's experience. fucking loaded for both, so I can't wait. I actually built up my bankroll to be able to fire bullets on both. So let's go. You ready? Let's... You ready to take Michigan plus seven and a half tomorrow? Uh, I I like them. Oh, I don't know yeah, if I'm. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going well, well, yeah, to. Yeah. <laughs> because we do get dug back, and we got. Murdered by Michigan State the first time. So, what are we setting odds that you fall asleep during this episode? <laughs> not, not high. Actually, I got. We're doing a baseball, a special baseball show at midnight. So, I might even have to leave in the middle of this one. So, yeah. Mm, college baseball it. experience. Uh, and and <laughs> he's still. What I love about Noah is he he diehards like Bruce. He, he like say like Bruce Willis over there. He still got that Florida Gator shit up. Even though do. the Johnnies, the Johnnies <laughs> went in there. Yeah, that was not very great. <laughs> and got it done opening day. Patino uh, coaching that team. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Maybe Patino's coaching baseball. That's what I was expecting from the Johnny's basketball program. That was right? not a good one. Something well, they got it, they got it swapped. They got it something happened. You try um, to figure out how that win could go towards Shay John's big East fucking record. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for basketball. Um a road win at Florida would be quad one in basketball. <laughs> <laughs> uh all right, buddy. Well, uh look, Alrighty. I hope you feel better. Take a fucking what is it? Sudafed? I don't fucking know. What what is that oh, allergy I'll, shit? Yeah. I'll be taking Benadryl uh, right when the oh, baseball show. You are show gonna ends. fall asleep if you're yeah. taking Benadryl. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm knocking myself out. Fireball. And then yeah. I gotta get, I gotta get up in the morning for any of the other lines that come out. So yep. There you go. There you go. That that'll fucking cure that fucking cold right up. <laughs> uh yeah. I mean, come on, Noah. You don't know about. There's, 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 there's other ways out there. You know what, ki- you know what kills allergies for me? Doing a shit ton of whiskey, shit ton of whiskey. You never fucking, you never even sense allergies. Germs. Yeah, you just wake up the next day. Yeah, I mean you'll have a headache, but I mean a headache. What's a headache? You know, I mean a headache's nothing. Yeah. Um. Uh. 
Next up, we did have a lock battle. <laughs> you, you can't fade my red foxes. You can't you can't <laughs> fade my red foxes because Marist at home is a complete wagon. 7855. Get this golden griff bullshit out of here. The McCann Arena is rocking tonight. And uh yeah. Feel great about life at this point. Your thoughts on the Red Fox is getting it done. Yeah, you got me on this one. Yeah, stay tuned. I got you on the other MAAC lock battle. <laughs> I know. Uh, I know. <laughs> another night in the MAAC. I mean, the Golden <laughs> Grips were fucking controlled the first half, and then you blink, and they got fucking drilled in the last 10 minutes. And that's what the Red Foxes do. You know what I mean? They 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 handle shit with their big bushy ass tail. You know what I mean? That's for balance. You know what I mean? That's for balance. You know? So uh yeah. I watched a lot of that. Well, I watched a lot of nature shit. You know what I mean? I'll dive into the you know uh, a big fan of the Arctic fox. I know this is the red fox, but the Arctic fox is kind of a bad motherfucker if you ask me personally. You know, I, folks, we we can do another hour on the Arctic fox another day, but I, I just remind me. Um, Do you want to address this question from Taylor Smith? Are we going to talk about basketball games? No, no we're just going to no, jerk off for fucking three and a half hours, motherfucker. Yeah, t- uh, Taylor, <laughs> where would you put the fox on your animal rankings? All right. Do you have it, say, above the wolf, below the wolf? Do you have, uh, where do you put, you know, the, there's, and then there's the red fox, the, Arctic Fox. There's the, uh, there's another, there's, there's, I mean, where, where, where do you put the, uh, the snow leopard in there? The snow leopard. Is that, is that, uh, we, you know what? Fuck this show. Let's just do an hour on animals right now. Uh, who's a one seed for you, Mac? What's a, what's a one seed animal for you? Like you, are you an elephant guy? You a fucking tiger guy. I, uh, yeah, I love the bulldog, man. I love, yeah? I, love the, I love a good old bulldog. So, that, so that's if you, if, if you were to get re reincarnated, uh, you, you, cause bulldogs have a short life cause they can't fucking breathe, man. They've been, you know, but I like bulldogs, but I'm saying like, you would want to come back one. as, yeah. you don't want to come back as a bulldog. Yeah. So, I, I, dogs are the best, but I mean, I do like the lion. I do like the lion. Yeah. Cause I think a bulldog right now, you're going to sound like Noah Beanick right now. If you're a fucking bulldog, you know what I mean? Like you're just struggling to breathe. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, I'm joking. Noah king of the jungle. Give Get it. That I'll, be suit of fed. I'll be a lion in the next lion. Line. Okay. Yeah. Loyal Mary Mal. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm a big fan of you. Yeah, we can, uh, a one seed to me in the animal world, but I'm a big fan of the wolf because the wolf can go solo. You know what I mean? Like the, there's the, the lone wolf. And then when they're together as a team, you want to talk about Ivy league basketball, the wolves, man, they got some, they got some fierce backdoor cuts because uh, enemies have no idea that they'd be fucking communicating. These Buffalo have no fucking idea. These bison, they're just sitting there trotting along these deer. He's, you know, they, they have no fucking idea that the wolves have told their fucking crew, Hey, you know, meet, we're going to meet at the 50 yard line and fuck this animal up. And that's what wolves do. So they are running some backdoor cuts that clearly the, the, uh, the, the animals up there in, uh, you know, Canada and, and Russia. And, uh, I think, I think oh, that counts for Russia. Yeah. Uh, Alaska, you know, the wolf. I would compare them to uh, Princeton offense. You know what I mean? They got that backdoor cut figured out. Um, that Just would be a one seed Taylor. for me. <laughs> that would be a one seed for me. Uh, I see some talk about the sea leopard. Interesting. Interesting. Um, well, uh, you know, I, what about the bird world? Is, you think a bird is, is, you think a bird is, is good enough for a one seed? Cause the California condor, I'll be honest. I was, I was in Zion and I saw a fucking Zion national park where everyone should go to that. Uh, walk the narrows. Thank me later. Um, my, my wife didn't want to marry me until I, uh, we walked the fucking narrows. She walked the narrows and all of a sudden she fell in love with me. Just an idea. Um, uh, but the, uh, the California condor is a bad motherfucker. That's, that's a bird worth checking out. It's a bird we're checking out. Uh, bald eagle one seed. I know a lot of people talking about the bald eagle. You got you a falcon man. You you uh, you uh, you know maybe a, a toucan. Dude, I was down in fucking Colombia. Colombia's birds. I, I spent a month in Colombia in May. The fucking bird scene in Colombia is insane. They got colors you didn't even know fucking existed. Butterflies too. Like you'll sit there. I'm telling you, man. I I I I I look like 
a fucking just uh, someone studying animals or some shit because I was sitting there staring at butterflies for a good four hours one day. I was like, look at this fucking butterfly. Never see, uh, you know, because the Amazon goes through Colombia. So uh, anyway, I mean, you have a bird that uh, you think might be worthy of a one seed bald eagle, obviously, right? Yeah, bald, bald eagles an original. Um, I don't know, man. The bird, the birds stay in the air. They're they're like the air force. I like <laughs> I like the I like the animals down in the trenches, like the army, the lions, the tigers. But, yeah, but, uh, that's fair. Bears. But but dude, the bird will come down, and I mean, the, the bald eagle will come down and snatch a fucking fish. You know what I mean? Yeah, but he's going into enemy territory like, and fucking like take a, a 10, fish. Ten eleven seed fish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, folks, if you, if you want our full blown animal podcast, um, we can do that Project in May. Yes. <laughs> it's yeah. in May. Look in May, we will, uh, honor animal week, not shark week. We're gonna do our own thing. Animal week. Um, ghost dad saying a, a kangaroo will fuck you up. A kangaroo will, f- dude, they, they kind of freak me out. They fucked up a jackrabbit last night. That's true. That is true. And you know, a kangaroo kangaroo is like a weird creation. Like that's, I almost think that's a fucking alien. You know what I mean? Like it, it's weird that the two legs that are too, sh- they're shorter. I don't even know what they fucking call those. And then the two big ass legs, uh, you know, the pouch. And, I, and and once I found out hyenas had fake vaginas, male hyenas have fake vaginas. My fucking brain exploded. Hey, you know about this? I did they not have fake that. vaginas. And uh, I mean, I don't know where to place them anymore. I'm all confused. Uh, this is me when it comes to when, when it comes to uh, when it comes to hy- hyenas. Uh, me thinking about the hyena animal. This is me. How do you well, fake the vagina? Well, I don't get. I get the cold. What's that? How do you have a fake vagina? Well, I, I mean, I live in Los Angeles. That have no. I'm so, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 I mean, I, I, I got uh, Tebow. Our Lord and Savior Tebow created hyenas, and I guess they have some type of fake vagina. They know, and they do it to to. to it's it's interesting. I'm telling you, it's creepy but interesting. You got to deep dive on these animals, people. Um, it's your off season homework, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob says, "Drink Bud Light." Uh, <laughs> ask Kobe's neighbors. Uh, that's funny. That's funny. Uh, all right. Um, look, I hope, uh, you guys, uh, yes, yes. And, uh, George W does have something to say. Shout out to the chat for, uh, you know, I know we talk birds, but we didn't talk some of the other animals out there that, um, where the fuck am I right now? Um, I'm really, I'm really blowing the timing on this thing. Um, man i know the human being and fish can coexist peacefully yes i i uh thank you george um all right uh we somehow covered with manhattan this was a fun watch manhattan gets the cover against iona your thoughts on uh on I uh, yeah i watched it too i mean i had it on i was cooking dinner but i mean yeah i they, guess i should, uh, yeah. They were up at the half, and I'm I'm glad we didn't bet it because it it would have taken years off your life. Because, and we'll talk about Brown here in a minute, who almost had the worst epic collapse I've seen all year in terms of almost blowing a cover. Um, yeah, I mean the, these bad teams, man. It, even when they're catching big numbers, it's never safe. <laughs> oh God. yes, yes. Um, uh, I wish I would have bet this. I didn't, but uh, and we're going for the six hour episode, Tyler. And uh, yeah, I mean, we got this. We got, I got this. Let's bottle right here. We're good. Yeah, let's fucking go. All right. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll probably start talking about the snake world or the reptile world in uh, you know a little bit here. Um, I lost a hundred dollars on St. Louis tonight. They suck. They, I, suck. they suck. I I hate. Why did I bet them? Why did I bet them? A great spot, but they just they they couldn't make enough shots down the stretch. Dude, fucking VCU made everything tonight after not being able to throw it in the ocean last Friday. Yeah. Yeah, dude. They're what? Five and one now on the road. Unbelievable. Shout out to Todd. Todd says, what's up fellas. Noah's sleep cam last night. Might've been the the show of the year. Must see show every night. Thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, That was not, uh, that was, that was on a whim. That was not, uh, Nothing is planned on this show except, (laughs) except uh, I guess talking about basketball games at some point. Um, shout out to, 
I'm hip. Gives us two bucks. Appreciate you. YouTube.com slash the college experience. Uh, Tyler says bald Eagles, a one seed. You commie. Yeah, I think I agree. I think I agree with that. Bald Eagles. It's tough. To, you know, they just, they're kind of badasses, but they, but also, you know, when they have, uh, then when they have babies, they, 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 they kill one of their own. It's kind of a, kind of a grimy. They're like, no, it's too hard out in this world. Only one's going to survive. The other one's going to have to sit in misery and we're not even going to give him attention. He could sit up on the nest, but we're not going to give him any fucking attention until he dies. It's interesting. It's interesting. Um, a barracuda is a one seed. Yeah. Barracuda, barracuda. I, I, I'm, uh, I don't know about one seed, but I I think it's high up there. It's high up there. Um, uh, no, lock- right. <laughs> a lot of truth to that. Yeah, that's very true. Um, uh, you did win a lock battle here. Niagara falls 65 Fairfield. You fuck. You're no longer the best team in Connecticut. Look, the blue devils lost last night. Tonight it's Fairfield. Is this an omen that Yukon's going down tomorrow? <laughs> oh this, yeah, baby. This is, this is an omen that Yukon's fucked, right? Uh, shout out to Dante who says uh, White Tiger College Fund ten bucks. Appreciate you, Dante. White there Tiger. I, I he really appreciates that. He really appreciates that, and thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, what'd you make of this Niagara win, though? A great game. I mean, this this was an MAAC game. When in doubt, take the dog. These these dogs, I got to go back and look. If you just took every dog minus Sienna on the money line, I think you're having a hell of a year. <laughs> yeah, Manhattan. No Detroit either. A couple times, yeah. yeah. No well, Mississippi Valley State. No, 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 no. Yeah. In the MAAC. Oh, in, in the MAAC. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I was they coming may, in here. Well, they might belong in that league, but... <laughs> I was coming in here to actually address Ra- Ross Kastner's comment because just imagine that I'm saying it and it totally applies too. Uh, it goes, quote, you guys are totally messing up my sleep, but I can't quit this show. End quote. <laughs> Appreciate well, I mean, you. That's, that's basically me too. Hey, Ross, <laughs> let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, buddy. Look, and I appreciate you being here, but I mean, we're going to be dead in a hundred years. All right. Sleep when you're fucking dead, man. We got, this is. This is this is life. There's money to be made. There's fun to be had. You know what I mean? You'll you'll thank me when you when you're 80. Uh, I mean, I'll be dead, but I mean, you, <laughs> you, you'll you'll thank, you know, somebody, somebody named Dundee. All right. Um. Uh. Yale beat Penn by 14. I'm so glad we didn't bet Penn. We were tempted. I, I was close, man. Me too. Me I was too. very very close to betting Penn. Uh, if anything, if anything, uh, this is going to sound bad. I I did a show with CJ and we went in on Penn. The only thing is I had to leave to go somewhere. I never bet the fucking game. I didn't, I it's, it's because look, I, we, I wasn't content on betting Penn last night and today we do a show at two. Then I had to take my mom somewhere. So right when I got done with the show, I go and I forgot to bet the fucking game. I would have taken Penn. So, uh, yeah, I got lucky twice tonight, but I did not get lucky here because we both took Kennesaw and we lost a hundred dollars. This is the shittiest fucking late game defense I've ever fucking seen. Like they they finally get the lead up to need to stop. We're gonna get fouled, make our free throws. Let's we'll get out of there. Just fucking the guy just gives him a layup and yeah. then they foul him. Like I'm like, oh my god. Um, I didn't I didn't get eyes on this one. I oh, like I said, I had to take my mom out. Yeah, self destruct down this down the stretch, like from an execution standpoint, um, North Florida actually probably was the better team, but when Kennesaw had all the momentum, they made some plays to get back in front, just total fucking sellout. That, um, to yeah. win the game. Cowards. We Cowards. both got St. Peter's right, but we didn't bet St. Peter's as they won by 22 against Sienna. Did you bet this? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I can't bet against Sienna. That's my team. Now, um, someday we take Sienna. Remember, on the, the day of the day of the Lord, we take the Sienna Saints. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Tyler. He goes, wait, we're recapping games. What are we doing here? I was here for the animal talk. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll sprinkle it in. We'll sprinkle it in. Don't worry. Um, Brown, Princeton, you brought me along in this. I wasn't going to bet Brown. Dude. I'll be honest. We were consuming last night. Talk to you to the Brown guys, dude. I didn't, I actually forgot that I bet Brown 
last night we bet when the show was done, I placed some our, our wagers. Yeah. I didn't realize that I bet Brown. So I had just zero interest of watching that game. I was just hoping I got it right. And then I'm loading up my account. And I'm like, why the fuck do I have more money in here? And I'm like, Oh, that's right. We bet Brown last night. Uh, thank yeah. you. This was, this was all you dude. Not me. <laughs> well, it, it was about to be me fucking throwing this laptop into a fucking pond because they had a, they had a double digit lead in the second half. They had a four point lead at the under eight. And somehow they needed a layup to cover the game. 13. We were what we were getting 12 and a half, 13 points. And they almost blew this fucking cover. I was like, oh my God, this is going to be one of the worst cover losses of the year. This would have been on the level of Loyola Marymount and Gonzaga on Thursday or last night. What night is it? it? I don't even know, but (laughs) I can tell you this. They're talking about the octopus in the chat. Octopus terrify me. I mean, they're, yeah. they're cool. They're cool yeah, well, because like, they're all mysterious, but they're, cats. they're the fucking Sam Cassell of the animal world, yeah. straight alien on planet earth. You know what I mean? I, I done by high. I like Sam Cassell. I'm just saying I saw Sam, Sam Cassell at a club in Hollywood once. I was like, that's not a real human. <laughs> it's not a fucking real human. Um, uh, Queens gets it done. Ooh. 7465. Best play of the night. Best play of the night. So far. I mean, my biggest wager is on San Diego State. who's currently up eleven. Uh your Make thoughts on uh, your thoughts on Queens? Um, yeah, I, I was worried that this was too good to be true because it felt like everybody was on Queens today, but good play by us. Um they they can they're, they're good at home. They're fucking good at home and they already lost a home game this week, so good bounce back. Let's fucking go. Uh and currently like I said, San Diego State up 11 a 3 minute mark in the first. Also Ohio Toledo all knotted up 2 minutes left. Uh took the Bobcats there. Um I will say Colby, I don't have any action on Ohio and Toledo. It every now and then it is nice to just sit here and not have action on a game and just watch a solid college basketball game. True. I, I mean, I disagree where with you, but yelling, true. Yeah. Where, where I, I like yelling. I like the rush. Every now and then. I know. I know. Not Look, 1% of the time where you don't have to lose your mind. <laughs> I try to say this to people that, you know, we love college basketball, whether we're gambling on it or not. But we also love to fucking gamble. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, shoe fits, shoe fits. And, and the Maxion games, always great. Always great. I knew Ohio Toledo was going to deliver. It always delivers. Yeah. Um, uh, game balls. Your top game ball. I'll let you go first. Top game ball. Hopefully, it's going to be San Diego State at the end of the night, but we got a lot pending there. Um, let's go. Let's go Niagara. Uh, I mean, they what pull with they they tie up Fairfield in the MAAC at nine and five. Two back of the Aqueduct, who we know is Fool's Gold. So uh Fairfield game ball or sorry, Niagara Ooh. over Fairfield. Oh, psych. Okay. Uh I like it. Shout out to Daryl, gave us five bucks. Uh appreciate you, Daryl. Giving you and Max some motivation to pick up some winners tomorrow. Let's go. And thanks, Noah, for your behind the scenes sleep, he says. Um uh I mean, also the chat was asking how many screens we have. So, like normally, look, are you, if you have a Twitter account. Type in God's eye SGPN. Mm-hmm. That's normally our, we have a normally like an 11 TV setup. Well, depending on uh, if we wheel out the extra two, but you normally do not. We. Yeah. Yeah. That's you true. Check my Twitter. That's my setup. No, it's got, got yeah. 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 I've got, yeah. I've got three no, TVs. Got radio. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I got three TVs and, and a computer. Uh, Max got two TVs that he can quad box. So then it turns to eight. And then, and then he's got a laptop and an iPad, iPad right? 10. I can get up to 10. Noah, yeah. Noah, can you find uh can you go to God's ISGPN and put a photo up? Yeah, I can. Give yeah. A um, thank you. Uh, and that, the, what the photo he's going to put up won't even have the two wheeled out TVs that we, we bring out for like the huge, the huge occasions, but we have a pretty great setup at the studio. It's just, my wife had a baby and I'm not going to be there for a couple of weeks, but, um, uh, yeah, my first game ball will be Marist. They're the fucking best. This team keeps winning me cash. 
All right. Red Fox is for life. Uh, yeah. I mean, the dominating performance is what they do at home. Every, I mean, what let's, let's talk about this Maris team. You know, this is a team that just, I feel like dominates at home. First off, they've won three straight. They're red hot. They're red hot at the right time of year, baby. Uh, watch out for these red foxes. All right. And they beat your army black Knights opening night. Do I got to remind you about that? Do I got to remind you about your black Knights? Oh, look at my dog too. Muddy waters in the studio. Yes. Yes, yes. And you can have an option to wheel out. Uh, we have uh, like some TVs on wheels in the other room. So it, it gives you a lot of, a lot of flexibility. That's SGPN studios with my dog, AKA muddy waters. Um, uh, shout out to Mark Hagen who gave us $10. Appreciate you, Mark. And uh, yeah, if you're ever in LA, let it, let me know. Let anyone ever in LA, let me know. I'll try my best to show you God's eye. All right. Um, just don't be fucking weird. All right. <laughs> just joking. Uh, but uh, second game ball, Mac, where are you going? We're only giving two. We're only giving two each. Um, second game ball. Let's go North Florida, man. Um, I, I that's a good road win. And that, huge. K- Kennesaw's a hard place to win at, man. They, they packed that shit in. Abdur Rahim left a good product there. And I mean, that, that place was lit tonight on a Friday night. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, my, my second game ball will be VCU You're five and one on the road. This is supposed to be a rebuild. Damn neighbor. It's supposed to be, uh, and BK takeover in the chat says, how do you split cable off of, or do we stream? Uh, we have, uh, we, that this was like professionally done. We had like the same thing that, uh, we hired like the same people that would go into a sports bar to come set this up. Now, besides that, we have some stuff that, uh, we, we have like mostly streaming, but we do have some other sh- shit. Uh, we have a thing called God's eye. I'll put it like that. And uh, you could watch anything DM. in the world. <laughs> yeah. You could watch anything in the world. Yeah. Uh, you, you will never strike out on a game at, at the studio at home. Sometimes you strike out, but um, yeah, we got a lot of shit. Um, yeah. Uh, VC is my final game ball. All right, folks, let's get to tomorrow's slate. But before we do that, I want to tell you that the college basketball experience is brought to you by the Daytona 500 contest. Rev those engines up. NASCAR is back. People check out the NASCAR gambling podcast. Rod via Gomez and Cody Zeeb Have you covered for all things NASCAR and racing from trucks to, to cup uh, Indy card F one. This show gives you the drivers to watch and the most profitable picks for the weekend of racing. Uh, enter their free Daytona 500 contest for a chance to win a hundred dollar SGPN gift card and a hundred bucks straight cash. All right. Go to sports gambling podcast.com slash Daytona. That's sports gambling podcast.com slash Daytona. We're also brought to you by underdog fantasy. Underdog fantasy has a way to play alongside your favorite fantasy players all season long. Uh, and look, they got NBA, they got NHL, they got college basketball. You better believe they have college basketball. Um, and I'm cur- currently making sure right now. What did? Yep, Justin Moore over eight and a half points was it? Ten he got today. So we're waiting on Lede for Saint or for uh, uh, San Diego State. What is he currently at? What is he currently at right now? This is terrifying. Um, where the fuck am I at right now? He's got ten. That, that's not good. Uh, but we hopefully we'll hit there. I, that's what's great about Underdog Fantasy, folks. I, I honestly. I love this platform and I would highly urge you if you like, you know, any, any edges that you can't find elsewhere that I think are, I actually think it's better here than elsewhere. So check it out. Simply pick higher, or lower in your favorite players, fantasy stats and cash in. You can win a uh, hundred times the amount of money you enter with some of their spicy, spicy plays. So what are you doing folks? Watch along, make picks and make some extra cash on underdogs, mobile app or website, underdog fantasy.com. When you sign up, sign up with the promo code TCE SGPN underdog will double your first deposit up to a hundred dollars. That's underdog fantasy promo code TCE SGPN. And folks, if you sign up with that, with that uh, password there or pa- promo code, essentially TCE SGPN, take a screenshot of you signing up, find me on Twitter at the Colby D and we will send you a college basketball experience t-shirt. No, what are we looking at for tomorrow? You got something there? Yeah, so I'm actually wanting the screen Mac on this because I think I found a, a really good winner. Um, and it comes, unfortunately, against his team. But I think he would probably agree with me on this one. Uh, Ray J. Dennis, higher than a half steal. 
All he needs to do is pick Kirk Kreese's pocket just once. Right? <laughs> done by the first media timeout. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So, yes, we're taking the higher than a, uh, a half steal for Ray J. Dennis. He's hit this in six games in a row and nine of the last 11. So, yeah, I like it. There we go, folks. Hop on over there. Promo code TCE SGPN. Uh, and, and like I said, check it out. It, it's well worth it, in my opinion. All right, we are back on the college basketball experience. Shout out to the chat. We got 265 people watching in here. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really, it really helps us. I can't emphasize that enough. Shout out to Kwame in the chat, uh, Chad G, Trevor, all the, all the, uh, everyone, everyone. Shout out to Cozy, Cody Frazier. Just gave us 10 bucks, giving back to the crew that has uh, won me seriously, serious money on games this week. ECU, Queens, and the fucking Long Island Sharks. Uh, amongst others, best content on betting. Love y'all and cheers. Appreciate you, man. Um, and, and, uh, yes, shake some, uh, took, took the gauchos, uh, me and Noah Beanick locked up. You see Santa Barbara in baseball against the Campbell camels. Got it done. Oh, there we go. Francois gave us uh, $11 at 11 cents for, uh, white tiger, uh, AKA pick Dundee's first kid. Um, appreciate you. Appreciate you. Um, Yes, let's go. That's really that's really nice. I, I'm very grateful. Very grateful. Um, all right, we got fire. I'm gonna start things off with a lock, man. Do it, baby. Saturday. Let's start things off Good with luck. a absolute. So, you know, we're in mid February here. All right. Virginia is 13 and one at home. Yep. They just lost their first home game of the season to Pitt when Pitt was unbelievable from three. Don't remind me. Uh, let me tell you something about this. This is a fucking lock. All right. Uh, this, this might be my favorite play of the day. All yeah. right. Because wake is two and six on the road. Wake is a top 100 team in pace. Guess what? UVA is dead last in America in pace. I think they're going to drive this game in the muck. UVA's 12th ranked defense is going, they defend the three. Well, which wake forest does, you know, this is just a bad spot for wake forest, wake forest. This is a, this is a fascinating game just because wake forest is two and a half games back. If wake forest wins this game, their remaining schedule, I think is pretty easy. So they're in a great spot. You know, Duke and Carolina got to do battle. Carolina has got to go to Charlottesville, huge game for wake. But I think it's the wrong spot. I think Virginia knows it. I think Virginia's still going to win the ACC regular season. I think they get it done right here. I am all over laying the three and a half. I think they win by a strong six. Let's go. Boom. Lay it. Mac, what are you doing here? You can play the double lock. I, I love the who's here. Um, they bounce back. They, they, they were due for a loss. Finally, it came against Pitt. I know Wake needs this game too because they got to get on the right side of the bubble. But this is a Virginia Tony Bennett. I actually think Virginia's going to win out. Um, they they got their wake up call against a shit team the other night, and uh, I think they're going to roll here. Let's go, Wahoos! And by the way, you can get a flat three. You can get a flat three out there too. Dante's on it too. Uh, do we have? Is this a triple lock? No, you can play the music and then I'll say what I'm gonna say after. Ooh, ooh, ooh! There you go. Double lock, Dundee and Mac, thunder and lightning. Let's go. What's up? What's up, Noah? Chad G's mentioned the elevator, which means that I I I didn't get to talk about it last night because I fell asleep during the show. Um, that was fucking hilarious with LIU. Let me just oh, say, yeah. like the elevator thing. Did you guys see fairly Dickinson when they got back to campus, they posted a video on their own social media and said hours that all they said was hours works. And it's a picture of their elevator opening and closing. <laughs> <laughs> they would have won so by the elevator. elevator there. They started down. Oh, if, you're, that shit. if you're blaming, if you're blaming losses so on a fucking elevator. All right. You think shit happened to Long Island if with you're the blaming losses the on a fucking elevator. You know, it's weak. Razor fucking thin. She Razor was thin. Like Rod Strickland didn't pay the bill. <laughs> that, dude, that's he some swag shit, though. New like York it is. Liberal. No, Get this happened elevator. to Old Dominion football. Virginia Tech was at Old Dominion yes, just two I years ago. That. And that happened to Virginia Tech. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
and and Old Dominion won that game, by the way. So maybe there maybe there is something to it. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, Virginia's a lock. I thought Noah was going to lock up Virginia. So don't worry, he'll give you his pick later. Uh, his one pick of the night. Um, Texas Tech is catching eight and a half at Iowa State. Oof. Actually, seven and a half. Seven and a half. I'm sorry. I'm taking Iowa State, but uh, no lock. I think it's time we start trading Iowa State like Houston. I think Iowa State's a real deal, especially defensively. Texas Tech just stormed the court. Oh, you're right. I forgot about that angle. I think I think Iowa State forgot about that angle. I think Iowa State Iowa State grinds it out on the road. Iowa State blows teams out at home. Um, I don't think they're looking ahead to Houston. I think they gotta get this game, lock it up, give me the cyclones. Um uh, I think Tide turning, I, see, as I remember, I was raised in the desert, but tides kind of turn. It's easy to see a tide turn. Did I say those words? Did I, did I say I wasn't going to lock this? No, I forgot about the court storming. This is a lock spot. Cyclones, minus the points. Let's go. Penn State. Shout out to Larry, <laughs> Larry Astacia. Yes, Larry Astacia's in the I'm chat. Well, yeah. I love the show. Like, what are we doing? Uh, when are you when are you coach it again, coach? All right, yeah, you're the fucking best. Two dollar tip. Let's go. Um, uh, where are we at here? Penn State it's heading to Nebraska. Nebraska's laid seven and a half points. I will lay seven and a half points with Nebraska, but no bet. I'm on the Nittany Lions. I might bet this by tomorrow. I I, I think that they've been, they've been good as a dog, especially on the road. Um. They got it. They, they got it done at Rucker. Where else did they win at? They just they've won. They've won two straight road games. Um, oh, Indiana. Where? Yeah, it was Indiana and Rutgers. Yeah, and then they lost back to back games back at home. They were right there to win at Northwestern too. I like what I've seen from Mike Rhodes' team. Give me Penn State. You're locking this. Check the picks page. Okay. Okay. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not excited on this one yet. Uh, K state's laying one and a half at home against TCU K state's in the more desperate spot. I will lay the one and a half, but once again, this is not a lock and it wouldn't shock me if TCU won this game. Mac, your thoughts. K state's had a week off K state. This is, this is it, man. I mean, if they're going to the NCAA tournament, they got to have this game like blood. They played better last week. They got more healthy over, over this week. I don't trust TCU away from home. K state lock it up. Whoo! Ten gang. Moneyline Max saying. Um, TCU. I know a lot. A lot of people like TCU. Yeah, I don't like the game. Staying away. Uh, but this one, I do like. Texas A and M's catching eight and a half at Alabama. I already bet this game. Did get it at nine and a half, so I don't hear any shit tomorrow. I think AM is going to cover this. This is a, you know, I, I it's it's a little tough because it's in Tuscaloosa, but A yeah. and M is kind of it's kind of like the Wake Virginia breakdown for me. You know, A and M's like 325th in pace, I think. Um, Alabama's top 25 in pace. A uh, and M is is the better defensive team. And to me, the big thing is the offensive rebound and rebounding in general. A and is the best rebounding team in the country, but it's specifically offensive rebounding that kills your fast break opportunities. You got to worry about boxing out. I think they can stay within this game. The fact they lost to Vanderbilt the other day at the buzzer. I love it. I am locking up a and M plus the points. What are you doing here? I'll join you. Um, kind of a desperate spot for a and M too. Yes. Dandy oh, Yes. All ready. of a sudden, you're on the bubble. Yep. Let's go. It reminds me of that Auburn loss at Alabama last year, where they were in the game. Alabama probably wins it at the end just because of that environment, but I think AM hangs around. Creighton is, uh, wait, let me make sure this line didn't go up. Uh, Creighton is laying two and a half at Butler. This came down a point um, since I was doing the show with CJ at two. I'll take Butler, but no, no, no bet here. Mac, what are you doing here? 
So they just played a couple weeks ago. Butler mm-hmm. beat him in overtime. I'm going to take Creighton in the revenge angle here. Yeah, I mean, I think it's anyone's game. Yeah. I think it's going to yeah, it's Great anyone's game. game. Yeah, I'm excited to watch it, but I don't think I'm going to bet that game. Richmond heads to the Colonials of George Washington. The Colonials of George Washington are just well, they're they're uh, they're on the USA Network tomorrow. Enjoy the Walker Texas Ranger episode leading up to it. Um, they've lost seven straight, and these Colonials proving to be the pussies that we all thought they were with the name change in the off season. Uh, Richmond's laying five and a half. Richmond's off the loss. I'll take I'll take Chris Mooney and the Spiders. Give me I'll lay the five and a half. Yeah. Uh, no lock though. I'm not betting this. Yeah. You're on Richmond though, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I lean to Richmond, but this line kind of stinks. It does. It does. That's why I'm not betting it. Texas is catching 10 and a half at Houston. <laughs> I can't believe I got to do this. Horns up. Texas is going to cover the 10 and a half. And believe it or not, I don't think it's that crazy to sprinkle the money line. I don't think it's that crazy to sprinkle the money line. Texas has won at TCU. They've won at Oklahoma. They've won at Cincinnati. They've proven to be a good road team. I think this line is a little disrespectful. Texas is going to cover this. Mac? Battle. <laughs> Battle. Horns fucking death. Houston is going to fuck them up by 20 plus. And when they get up 20, they're not fucking pulling their uh, foot off Spinal. the pedal here like they did for Oklahoma State and UCF. They're going to blow those. Blow the they did it out. to Texas too, and it went to overtime. What? They, no, that was on the road. Houston's a. I know. I'm just saying they they were up 20 and then they put took their foot off the game. Oh yeah, yeah. They, they're a different animal. Oh, Pick John D riding with the horns. Yeah, disgusting. Mac said horns down. Go Cougs. Um. Yeah, I just think Texas's athleticism. I think Texas's talent is. I actually think they're a more talented roster than Houston. It's just Calvin Sampson's a better coach than Rodney Terry. He's had um, a week to prepare for this game too. Now, it's it's true, but I actually think watch this might be more Texas fans in the crowd than you realize. They got that Texas money, buddy. Um, they're gonna fuck them up. I'm telling you. <laughs> let's keep these locks going because. The hospital's getting nine and a half points tomorrow. <laughs> and I think it's disrespectful. I will see you in the ICU because uh, this is going to cash. And I don't think it's that crazy to sprinkle that plus 380 money line. <laughs> All right. Give me the hospital. The st- look, we the saw momentum. the court storm. Non plural. We saw the court storm. It can happen again. It can happen again. Let's go hospital. What are you doing here, Mac? I'm joining you, man. I said they're going to cover every game from here on out. Let's go. They've been three in a row. They even won one. That Let's another. go. Let's go. Plus 380. <laughs> Rob, Rob said I've lost more than uh, north of 2K betting on Detroit this season. I'm out. Did you not? I guess you didn't take him the other night. <laughs> Could have got all that, all that two K back, buddy. Um, Florida is heading to Athens, Georgia. This last game went to overtime in a wild one. Florida's laying four and a half in Athens. It's gone up a full point. Yeah. From when I did this to show it to, uh, give me Georgia plus the points. This is the one they're in a more desperate shot. They've lost like what? Five in a row. It's to me. It's just Florida. Just, just, uh, survive the LSU game. They have uh, at Bama on deck. Georgia covers this one. What are you doing here? Yeah, why? Why is this line climbing? Um, yeah, give me George. Should we bet Mike Snow White? He's zero three against Florida. I, 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 I'm in. I'm Home in. Bulldog, man, let's go. Florida's not the same team on the road. Let's take them Bulldogs. Shout out to Cameron Lodwick. Uh, who gave us five bucks and cashed on Vanderbilt money line parlayed with Duke, Indiana under and St. Louis, St. Peter's money line. And hopefully San Diego state parlay. Thanks guys. Appreciate you, man. Uh, and uh, yeah, appreciate you, man. That's, that's fantastic. Um, the great Danes of Albany are heading into UMBC. Uh, Albany is catching one. 
Should we lock Albany? <laughs> I saw that. Oh man, I'm I'm gonna stay away. This line reeks. I hate this game. Yeah, give me Albany. No bet. You're on Albany though, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, moving down the ranks, St. Francis, the Red Flash, head to Fairly Dickinson. Something's got to give here. Fairly Dickinson is laying. Seven and a half. That's that's just a little too many points for me. Give me give me the red flash plus seven and a half. What are you doing here, Mac? Yeah, I will. Uh, Fair decks off the overtime game too. Give me St. Francis. Uh, red flash played in overtime too, actually though. So you're both teams coming in off overtime games. Um, Robert Morris is catching nine at Wright State. Mm. I think there's a nine and a half out there too. If you're if you really want to bet this game, I'll take the. I'll take the I, I'll take the points, but I might even bet this. Yeah, because the only thing right states are fucking they're so fucking up and down. I I might I might take uh I might take Bob Morris. I think that's the right I, side. Yeah, I'm definitely yeah. gonna take Bob Morris. I'm I'm gonna stay away from the lock though. VMI is heading to the Citadel. Do you remember what happened last time these two yeah, teams the court storm our game? <laughs> yes, VMI stormed the court uh VMI is 0 and 12 on the road. So they're getting 11 and a half in a rivalry game. Both teams are one and nine in their last 10. Uh, VMI has the much worse offensive defensive rating, but to me, 11 and a half is insane. And you could actually talk me into locking VMI. Are we, are we worried it's a revenge and the Citadel is going to take it all out on them? Has the Citadel beaten anybody by double digits this year? Let's see. Tacoa falls. Yeah, no, they beat North Greenville. That no, doesn't they count. Notre Dame. They beat Notre Dame by twenty. <laughs> That's true. What the fuck was that? That's their what only that? one, dude. That's their only <laughs> one. They fucked up Notre Dame and South Bend. I forgot about that. Dude, this is a rivalry game. I know. All right, let's. I'm do going. It. I'm going there. V- Key Nets plus eleven and a half. All right, ride. <laughs> let's go, ride. Navy is catching f- four and a half. Let me make sure this didn't move. Uh, where the fuck are you? Navy four and a half at Boston. Still four and a half. Um, <laughs> Navy has been a tough team for me to take this year, but they, they, they have lost seven straight. So give me Navy plus the points. What are you doing here? I'm going to be on Navy. Um, I think it's a good spot for them. They they're, they're due, man. They're due. They're You're lock- I'm not locking. That. I can't lock this. Um, no, I'm not going to lock it, Yeah, but I, I like Navy here. Fordham is catching, uh, what? 14 and a half at Dayton. Actually, I think this shot up. Hang on one second. Let me just double check this 15, 15 now. Uh, sorry. I have the, the shit from pre-show. If I don't refresh my phone, it's just scrolling down. So I have to double check by checking the internet, uh, from secure. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll take Fordham, but no bet. What are you doing here? I I was I was torn on this one too. I, I took Fordham. Um, I mean, they they just drilled drilled uh, whoever on the on the pull away at the end of the game. So I'll take the points. Uh, Data wins by thirteen. Army heads to the Heart Recreation Center. <laughs> Best team in America, the Army Black Knights. Well, you know, they've won three in a row and their train has come in because Holy Cross, the Crusaders are off a fresh ass whooping, but let's not overlook the fact that Holy Cross has been decent at home. (laughs) And you know me, I'm a Holy Cross guy. I am locking up the Crusaders plus two and a half against the Black Knights. It's free cash out there in Boston. Just gotta search a little for it. Gotta search. This is a money line spot. Yeah, I agree with the chat. Just play it, play it at plus 125, I think it is. Let's go. What are you doing here? Battle. Give me the army. <laughs> Give me the army black knights, baby. Well, My team. Well, well, I don't get it. Keep covered. <laughs> they, 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 they cold, but they're counting down seven, six, five. You're gonna fuck them up. You gotta learn a lesson. Alright? Holy Cross and Boston is a different team. Dundee with the Crusaders. Mac with the Black Knights. 
Marshall is laying four and a half at Coastal Carolina. Oh, God. This game Yeesh. is ridiculous, man. Marshall blew him out in Huntington, but you know what? Give me Coastal. No bet. No bet. I'll take Marshall. I'm not betting this. <laughs> <laughs> BYU is heading to Stillwater, Oklahoma. Stillwater's run deep. Uh, six is what they're laying. This actually came down a point. Um, give me, give me the Cowboys plus a six. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm locking Oklahoma State. I think it's a great spot. Um, I thought they played well against Oklahoma last week. They had the bye week. BYU not the same team on the road. Give me the Cowboys. Lock it up. I think they got a chance to win this game. You're flying solo here, but. I do think it's the right side. What did I make? Locking up the Cowboys. How about them Cowboys? Oh. Uh, I mean, I want to ask Ash. I want to ask the chat if they like money. <laughs> Is there a system out there? I just don't understand the disrespect of Loyola, Maryland. Do you know what that number is right now? Uh, They're getting 11. No, I have it. I have it here. They're getting 11 at Lehigh. Yeah. What is this number? Loyola is much better than their record. They are going to win on the money line at that fucking Stabler arena where stacking the money dropped acid or whatever. Give me Loyola, Maryland, lock it up, sprinkle the money line. It's I don't see a money line yet, but it's, it's coming. All right. Sprinkle that money line. This is our darling Patriot league money lines. Mac. Yeah, I'm joining you. Even, even, even if the, we didn't feel that strongly on this, which we do, they've been our fucking darling all year, baby. They've They're been- a better basketball team than Lehigh. They have better players. They they come through on the road too yeah. all day. Let's go. Caden sees plus four forty money line, folks. Um, yeah. Uh, da- Tyler drop. says Tyler says plus five ninety. Oof. Ooh, Rob. <laughs> Rob has eleven hundred dollars in Loyola. Don't don't. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I think I think we're on the right side of this. I really do. And I think the money line is completely live. So I'm looking at uh, Loyola's. Loyola's only won by more than eleven. I'm sorry. Lehigh has only won more than uh, by more than eleven all year once, and that was against shit ass Navy. Uh, actually, no, they beat Loyola Maryland by twelve. No, yeah, twelve last time they they played, but that was a different Loyola Maryland. Different team now, baby. Yeah, there are Greyhounds. So I guess I mean I kind of eat shit there. They probably set the line on that, but uh, I, I do think Loyola is they, dude. They are better than their record. They're going to get revenge. That makes me like it even more to tell you the truth. The fact they won by 12 at Loyola makes me like Loyola more right now. They got the motivation. It's a fucking lock. Let's go. Longwood heads to Presbyterian taking on them blue hose. Longwood's laying two. <laughs> yeah. Give me Longwood reluctantly. No lock for me. Yeah, though. I can't lock. Both teams are three and seven in their last ten. I'll lay I'll lay the wood. I'm with you. Yeah. Northeastern heads to Hofstra. Hofstra's laying six and a half. I will take Northeastern this time, buddy. Let's go. Lock. They're live in this game. This is disrespectful. They've won the first meeting. This is way too high for a, they're overreacting to a Hofstra team that's played better as of recently. Northeastern all day. Bill Cohen time. Not gonna lock it. Still picking it. Moneyline Mac flying solo with Northeastern. I just can't. I can't get there all the way. Can't get there all the way. That's for you and Donaldson. You and Donaldson can go there. Uh I mean. This is a lock. <laughs> Arkansas is getting 12 and a half in Starkville. They're also plus 550 on the money line. 
I kind of like Arkansas too. Let's 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 oh, sprinkle both. God, let's sprinkle man. both. Let's sprinkle both. Mississippi State can only score like sixty points, so it's like, yeah. can Arkansas score at least fifty to cover you? You know, forty nine points. Can they get there? They will. Yeah. And then the possible money line play. Play both sides of this. I will see you at the winner's circle. Let's go, Razorbacks. Pig Suey. Woo, Pig Suey. Whatever the fuck. Uh, what are you doing here? You're, you're all over. Your you're money line sprinkle, too, right? Yes. I mean, if you're going to play Arkansas, I yes. actually thought Arkansas played better before Tennessee. Yeah. Arkansas is one and four on the road. Perfect chance to take them. Perfect time to take them. Yeah. Um, all right, folks. I want to tell you that the college basketball experience is brought to you by uh, Hall of Fame Bets. Win bigger, I bet, smarter this NBA season with Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting analytics platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Research every NBA and soccer bet with historical stats and data. Stop betting in the dark and join over thirty thousand users researching with Hall of ba- Hall of Fame Bets to craft more intelligent. Data driven parlays. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit HOFBets.com. Use that promo code SGPN to get 50% off your first month today. Start research and start winning with Hall of Fame Bets. All right, we're back on the college basketball experience, and I see 355 people in this fine, fine show uh, in the chat. If you can, if everyone, we're going to take a timeout. All right, 20 second timeout. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. This really helps us. You know, I, we appreciate everyone coming in to check us out, but that really helps us. All you have to do is hit subscribe. What does that do to your life? Nothing. You know what I mean? Like you, you, you don't even get notifications most of the time. When I subscribe to shit, it's just your own YouTube page. You're fine. You're good. Just hit that subscribe button. It helps us out way more than you know. And the like button. Shout out to my guy Kwame. Uh, hit that like button for White Tiger. Let's go. Let's go. Um. And uh, yeah, UMass is at LaSalle. <laughs> it's a trap game. This is this is terrifying, right? I yeah. I think Frank would tell you this off 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 record. He it would say, too, man. Dude, we're locking LaSalle. We're locking fucking LaSalle." I kind of agree with you. <laughs> uh, UMass wins by three. This yes, is two yes. defensive, ugly ass games. I'm with two, you. two, two guys that know ball. They are. Yeah. They leave. They they live and breathe ball. I know LaSalle hasn't been great this year, but this is it. Thank you, Matt, Ex- they down early. Explorers plus six and a half. Right, right. Let's go. Valpo is at Missouri State. The Crusaders are a beacon of shit. All right. And they are catching 13 at Missouri state. I still think it's a little too much. Give me Valpo, but I'm not taking this. I'm not betting this. Give me, give me Valpo though. You? Yeah, I go Valpo. Uh, Next up, uh, Delaware. It's at North Carolina. A and T Delaware is laying 11 and a half. Is Delaware going to play with their food? That's the real question. Cause another thing to monitor here. I thought he was going to come back last week and I'm going to ask Terrell Furman jr. On the morning show tomorrow, Terrell is plugged into the North Carolina a and T program with the Aggies there. Landon Glasper, their best player who is by far their best player has been out for multiple games. They covered against Wilmington, but he is a game time decision. I'm wondering if he, if he goes here because I'm going to take a and T in the points. If he's going, if not, I mean, I, I, I don't know that I'll bet it. We'll see, but right now, no bet, but give me a and T. What are you doing here? I'll, I'll go a t as well. Uh, all right. Moving along. Uh, Northern Illinois is at Kent state. Kent state's land 10 and a half. <laughs> all right. Northern Illinois. I'll take your 10 and a half. I'll take your fucking 10 and a half. What are you doing here, Mac? Man, I struggle with this game. I, I- I, I want to bet on both these Steves coming down the stretch, but uh, give me Kent. Give me Kent Lane. I feel like it, I feel like it's a big number. By the way, Toledo did beat Ohio 85-83 tonight. Ohio covers for us, though. Anyone that took the Bobcats, yeah. uh, and and Toledo gets a much needed win. Um, moving along back to our slate, and by the way, currently uh, we are at the 15 minute mark, and San Diego State's up nine. 
So something to monitor there. We need a little run here, don't we? we get, yeah, we do. The 15 to it's, it's, Come on, it's starting to get a little that. sweaty. Yeah. Starting to get a little sweaty down there in San Diego. Uh, Duke is laying five at Florida State. Why did this? This went from five and a half or six down to five. Ooh, yeah, baby. Duke hates playing here. I don't believe in Florida State. I'm taking Duke. No. Duke's just off three straight home games. I Florida, love, St- I love, Florida I love State's one of the hardest here. reads in college basketball. Seminoles money line, lock it up. Woo! Florida State Wait, wins. I got a song for you. So we get our kicks doing the Seminole rap. We are the Seminoles of Florida State. We know we're good. Some say we're great. I go in simple, best in the land. Rockin' to the beat of the Modest Cheese Band on Saturday night. We'll start our stuff to show the nation that those are tough. When I don't play us, best part, be ready? Chillin', Wait for that instrumental, that bridge. Phenomenal, phenomenal work. Um, Kill the Redskins. Let's go, Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Bucknell is heading to Colgate. Colgate's laying 14, is it? Let me make sure I'm not full of shit. 14 and a half. 14 and a half. System play. Give me Colgate. <laughs> System play. Lay the 14 and a half. And yes, Steve Stevenson is right. Hail to the Redskins. Change it back. Yes, yes, yes. Damn right, baby. I mean, I mean, do we need to? Do we fucking need to right here? Do we need to? Let's go. Uh, this bullshit out of here. It's fucking idiots. We just have we just have idiots everywhere. Yeah, yeah there we go. There it. we go. Hail to the Redskins. Actually, I think I even have. Hold on. We 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 might be able to do we'll something here. For this one. Yeah. We we yeah. It's true. <laughs> um. Where are we at here? I think I got something for that. I think I got something for that. Let's uh. Where the fuck are we? Um. I'm really fucking this up timing wise tonight. You know. But you know. Uh, I don't know where the fuck this is. I have it somewhere on the soundboard, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff Smash! on the soundboard here. So it is hard to find shit that I rarely use. I don't know why I rarely use it. Um, what the fuck did I do wrong? Touchdown Washington Redskins. There we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Colgate's going to cash against Bucknell. All right. Akron's laying 14 and a half at Buffalo. Ooh. Lay it. <laughs> it's a, it's uh, a look ahead for Akron. They got Toledo on deck. Well, Akron falls asleep, falls asleep in these spots too, but uh, Give I'm me still the taking, I think, I think Buffalo's that, but you're going with the blue bowls. Money line, Matt, go with the blue bowls. Um, I'm not betting this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bet. I like, this, Ak- yes. I like Akron a lot. Campbell is getting ten and a half at Drexel. Give me Campbell plus ten and a half, and you could I, talk me. You could talk me into a lock here. Yeah, I think this number's too steep, man. Drexel's in a sandwich spot with the Hofstra games. I like I like Campbell here. Let's go, Campbell. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's lock it up. Lock it up. I faded him in baseball, but ride him in basketball. Let's go, Camels. The juice saying Mark Rippin ain't walking through that door. I just saw a photo from Super Bowl weekend of Mark Rippin hanging out with Snoop Dogg. Yeah, there he is. I, I'm a fan. Uh, look, uh, as I, I have uh, hung out with Snoop Dogg once before. Awesome guy. Awesome fucking guy. So Mark Rippon, I'm sure, was having a, a very good fucking time. Um, Florida Gulf Coast is catching one and a half at Stetson. Rivalry game, huh? A little rivalry game down there at the uh, Edmond Center. You said one and a half. Yeah. What are you seeing? No, I mean that. That's. I thought it was two and a half or three and a half. So hang on, hang on. Let me double check this. Let me double check this. No, one and a half. All righty. Gulf Coast. Stetson's nine and one at home. Gulf Coast is two and nine on the road. 
but I'm with you. I'll be on the Eagles. <laughs> Give me Gulf Coast. No lock. If you, if you no lock. I'm the first. Yeah, game. I know. No lock though. But I think it's you know these 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 rivalry games. Yep. Uh, Virginia Tech is getting eleven and a half at North Carolina. What do you think of this game? I'm taking the heels, man. I, I think Virginia Tech's a shitty team. Where are we at with the Tar Heels, though? I think at home they're actually legit. On the road is where I worry. I'm going to take the points, but yeah, um, I, I, I'm not betting this game. I, I think it's right around that number, eight to twelve. I'm with you. Uh, Samford is heading to Mercer. The fuck is this line at? Samford and Mercer. See this anywhere? Um, nine, niner. I actually see, I see 10 and a half. It's a big, it's a big difference. Who, who do you like here? Um, give me Mercer and 10 and a half. Nick Joe. D, uh, D, DK has it at 10 and a half right now. Um, uh, anyway, uh, yeah. Take the points there. Towson. Heads to Hampton, Virginia to take on the Pirates. There's another one. Uh, T- Towson's lay at 12. I, dude, I keep getting burned and taking Hampton. But yeah. give, me, give me, I'm doing it one more time. Give me Hampton plus 12. I'm going to take, ta- I'll, I'll, I'll lay with Towson. Dude, Hampton's fucking dead. <laughs> They're horrible. Uh, Stonehill is at LeMoyne. You don't just go to the best team in Syracuse. And win. Um, I don't see a fucking number on this shit. Where the hell is this number? Anyone got a number on this? Why am I not seeing this? I don't uh, see this. Uh, but I think it was like 10 earlier, right? Stonehill. Um, where are we at? Lemoyne. Who's got this? Hey, chat. Hit me up. Lemoyne minus nine. Niner. Lay it. I actually think we should lock it. Why is this not 15? Uh, I'm just going to take the points. This makes no sense. It's okay. I'll swim with my dolphins. Give me Lamont minus nine. Give me Lamont minus nine. The Wisconsin Badgers are heading to Iowa City. Take on the Hawkeyes. Rob Donaldson said I was going to win the national championship this year. (laughs) Starting here, they're going to turn this thing around. Uh, I'm buying in. Give me, I don't trust Wisconsin on the road. Give me the Hawkeyes to win. What are you doing here? Um, I locked up the other Iowa school. I'm going to lock up the Hawkeyes here. I love the spot off the Maryland loss. They're going to make some shots tomorrow. Staples versus Staples. Wisconsin fade the shit out of them on the road. Lock up the Hawkeyes. They get the You're flying solo, but Hawkeye. I like it. One of the Max said, take the Hawkeyes. Fly with the Hawkeyes. St. Joe's is heading to CJ Sullivan's Duquesne Dukes. This is an intriguing game. Duquesne's laying two and a half. Give me Duquesne minus two and a half. What are you doing here? I was intrigued by this game too. I mean, these are two teams that have been playing better. Uh, Duquesne's been fucking rolling. Um, I'm gonna take Saint Joe. Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take Duquesne, but I think this like a perfectly placed line. Yeah, it's a fun game too. That's yeah. a fun game. Speaking of fun games, these teams hate each other. Abilene Christian's catching nine and a half at Stephen F. Austin. We should lock up. AC. I mean, this is a heated rivalry. They fucking hate each other. I'm That's with. That's what you. I'm saying. They're gonna cover this. I know they're two and nine on the road. I don't give a fuck. Let's go. They just wanted the next. Let's go. Abilene Christian plus the points. Wait. Go. They lost in overtime in the first meeting. I was like, when the f- I, I knew they fucking played him. They played him all the way at December 2nd. God damn, we've been doing the show a long time this season. I knew we they have. played. We <laughs> have. And uh, part of the theme of the season has been. Ride with the fucking shocks. All right. 
The Sharks are heading out of the Steinberg Wellness Center with confidence, with boost, with a pep in their step, so to speak. And now they head to the f- fucking Hamill Court. All right, I look, I watched that fucking Star Wars with Mark Hamill. All right, and let me tell you, let me tell you, that guy, he, he, he's no Luke Skywalker in my mind. He's full of shit. All right, let me tell you something. The Sharks are 1 and 13 on the road. They let Mary Mack off the hook the other day at the Steinberg Wellness Center. And may I also key in on this? The fucking dolphins are swimming in in Syracuse. <laughs> the sharks are biting in Hamel or Hand Andover, Massachusetts, wherever the fuck it is. All right. Either way, the sharks are covering this big ass number. It is disrespectful to an NBA great, Rod Strickland. It is disrespectful for a gambling great and pick Dundee. <laughs> and I guarantee you that the Sharks cover this line. Give me the 11 and a half. Lock it up. Sharks and Dolphins swimming. So throw a little bit on that parlay. It hit last time. It hit last time. Shall I remind you? The Sharks have been a cash cow. Let's go. And, and yes, my sister's going to the game. She's going to the fucking game. Making casserole for everybody. Uh, what are you doing over here? I'm not going to bet it. I actually kind of like LIU here. Um, I think it's too many points, but they're off an overtime game. I'll stay away. Good luck to your shocks. <laughs> He's getting scared. He's getting scared. Marquette heads to Connecticut to take to, to the, to the, to the about a real game. Now <laughs> this is in, this is in hot food yeah. at the XL center. Last time they played Marquette one by two in the garden back on March 10th. Buddy, this is a game. <laughs> it's and the, the spreads dropped like a full point. Uh-huh. Marquette's getting six and a half. I'm locking up Yukon. I'm not buying into this shock of smart Marquette bullshit. Alright? Tyler Kolek bullshit. No. No, no, no. If it was in Milwaukee, I would buy it. Marquette's been fortunate, let's be honest. St. John should have beaten twice, right? We know that. <laughs> UConn wins by 20, all right? They, they Statement game here. The coaches were chirping at each other in the little Big East press con, uh, preseason uh, presser. Now, Marquette's dog shit. The number four team in the nation, my ass. They should be number 15 in the nation, all right? UConn gets it done. What are you doing here? So remember last year, UConn won that quarterfinal game and fucking Hurley's jackass got on the mic and said, and the players, we own the garden. Well, the next night fucking Marquette beat them. Going to UConn here. UConn is obviously really good at home, but I'm getting the best point guard potentially in America. Shock as a dog. They got a big that can bother clinging. Give me Marquette all fucking day. Sprinkle some on the money line. I think Marquette's going to win the game. I do. I think they're going to shock the You are world. delusional UConn. taking your little future. Marquette, UConn let me tell you something about Marquette. Overrated. Let's go. Give Marquette, Marquette is going to be at home before, they're gonna, they're gonna before the them. Sweet 16. Before them. the Sweet 16, Shaka Smart's going to be watching old reruns of him making a Final Four at VCU, you know, wishing, wishing in one hand. East, he won the Big East last year. Uh, who cares? It's a brand new year. Dan Hurley turned that, he turned that corner. And as much as I hate Dan Hurley with his whining and ass, <laughs> I think they're gonna fuck up Marquette tomorrow. And I can't wait to watch this game. Let's do some fucking Marquette, battle. Baby. Let's go. Let's do some battle. Spinal. Uh, let's go. In one corner, pick Dundee is riding with the Huskies of Yukon. Shout out to Muddy Waters, a Husky himself, Mac. Riding with the Golden Eagles that we gave a one seed. Well, it wasn't Golden Eagles, Bald Eagles. But I, I guess that's kind of. I can't wait till Hurley gets teed up in a critical moment here, and you're going to lose your mind in the post game show. No, this is easy money. Marquette's Yo, been Chaka. fool's gold. Marquette's been fool's gold all year. All right, they keep getting by off bullshit. Uh, Why? Because they swept St. John's. No, I really don't think they're that. I thought Butler could have got them. They bank in a fucking three. They've been lucky. They've been a little lucky, in my opinion. 
You're the best luck, point guard in America. The luck runs out tomorrow, and Tristan Newton has got something for you, little best point guard Tyler Kolick oh, bullshit, all right? Tristan Newton is going to tell him a little bit thing about ECU, all right? He's going to cook his ass like you he don't did go to East, last year. <laughs> you don't go to East Carolina with a weak heart. All right, let's go. Um, Rice heads to Tulsa in the game we've all been waiting for. Tulsa's laying five. I'll lay the five. You know, it sounds crazy. You can kind of talk me into locking up Tulsa. Uh, what are you doing here? You know, we got 150 games. I don't think Rice and Tulsa get a lot. <laughs> I see value. I see a little value on the Golden Hurricanes there, but yeah. I'm going to back off a little bit. Give me uh, Rice. Oh, God. I'm just, I, I don't want to bet this game. My New Mexico, see, the, the, my worlds are colliding here because my New Mexico State Aggies, who I faded in Murfreesboro, are now heading to Bowling Green, Kentucky to take on the tops. <sighs> we should take New Mexico State, man. No, I'm on the tops, man. That's a lot of points. New Mexico State's not there yet, man. They're, they have a brand new roster, they suck on the road, man. They but, suck but, on the road. But who who beat Western Kentucky at in Bowling Green? It was Sam Houston. Sam Still, Houston and what in New Mexico State are kind of similar. They're 0 and 11 on the road. I can't. This I is can't. the one. I'm locking New Mexico State. I think they're. I think. I think this game comes right down the wire. Western Kentucky probably wins because they always win at home. But nine points. Give me New Mexico State. Uh, excited to watch that game. IUPUI is at Oakland. Oakland's laying 21 and a half points. <laughs> Give me IUPUI. What are you doing here, Mac? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll take you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking betting this fucking shit game. Uh, folks, that concludes side A of the audio side. If you're on YouTube, just stay put. 377 people, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Stay put, though. We're we're, we're just taking a five second breather here, uh, for audio's sake. Uh, side A is done. Uh, subscribe to the College Basketball Experience. Remember, as always, that you better start thinking about yours. And we out of here. All right, we are back on the College Basketball Experience B side. Pick it every fucking game. All right, that's what we do what we do. We had a jackass in the chat earlier says, you guys talk basketball? No, just animals, just animals here. Uh, FIU is getting 15 at La Tech. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Was this not, we took FIU at FIU and they lost by 40. Remember that shit? Yes. Yes. Oh God. <laughs> We got to take FIU, right? No, I'm on La Tech. Lay it. <laughs> FIU on the road sucks, dude. What are you doing here? I'm not betting it, but airport it up. Fuck Louisiana Tech. That team's fool's gold. <laughs> they get so fucking lucky. I've watched them multiple times. I'm kind of excited to watch this next one. Youngstown State's laying three and a half at Cleveland State. Good game. Mm -hmm. The fun little. Ohio matchup there. Both teams, good teams, good programs. Cleveland State's 11 and 2 at home. Youngstown 6 and 6 on the road, which is all right. I'm going to take Cleveland State to beat Youngstown, and I could be talked into a lock here. Uh, three and a half. They're, you know, Youngstown's laying three and a half. You know what? Let's lock this. Let's take Cleveland State. Why are they locking? Why are they laying three and a half, though? I thought this game would be around a pick. I don't know, but I'm locking it. Let's battle. I had Youngstown circled. I think they're the best mm. team in this league, other than maybe Oakland. It's winning time. Give me Youngstown. Give me the penguin. The penguin. We got a battle. Pick Dundee. Taking the Vikings. Goal. Money line Mac. Taking the penguins of Youngstown State. Back, back. Uh, locks are flying off the shelves, folks. And Vermont is only laying two at Maine. 
This game might reek more than any game on the slate. What the fuck is this? Stick to the system. I know. Vermont minus two. Hold your nose. Vermont minus two. Let's go. We are battling Rob Donaldson. Vermont minus two. Um, and the chat's asking about it went from five to two. Uh, Who's out? Who's out for Vermont? I don't see anything. The only thing I see is Keelan Steele, a forward for Maine, is a game time decision. So maybe he's playing, and that's the difference. Uh, there ain't nobody on Maine worth fucking three points. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck it was a fucking Lodge yeah. one over there. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Stick to the system. Vermont's going to get it done. They're going to get it done. Mississippi Valley State's getting 13 and a half at Alabama AM. I, you know what? I think we should take the points. I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no bet. No bet. Don't bet this. Everybody do not do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh, I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted. Don't but do give it. me the 13 and a half. Check the picks page. If this goes up a point, I'm fucking jumping in, man. Uh, <laughs> Texas <laughs> state, Texas <laughs> state is at Southern miss that bread fire blood money cost me the other night. Southern miss is only laying three. I'm down to go back to the well. I'm not, uh, man. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I I almost want to bet Texas State because I'm telling you, they're not the same without Ladner, their head coach. Texas State on the road this year has not been very good. In conference, they have one road win at ULM. Texas State's better. I don't trust Southern Miss. They don't have their head coach. They don't I'll have back Grinello. off. The, I'll back off the lock because of the no head coach. But this is saying I think they're I like Southern tank. Miss. I'm uh, shot. Uh, Shake some is saying they did hand JMU their first loss, but they had their head coach. They don't have their head coach now. You see this guy that's coaching them now. He's fucking crazy. Yeah, um, yeah, that is true. They they don't have their head coach. Yeah, Texas <sighs> State. Texas State fringe lock for me. Check the picks page. Mm. Fucking TV. I'd say I'd say Southern Miss is maybe a fringe lock for me. Um, Ball State is at Miami, Ohio. Miami, Ohio is laying two and a half. See, Ball State on the road has had their struggles. Miami, yeah. Ohio has lost three straight. Ball State uh, has also lost two straight. I will take Miami, Ohio minus the points here. What are you doing here? I will too. It's two. Eh, I like I like Ball State though. A better coach, but I'm not betting this man. Uh shout out to Greg Massler. Oh. Uh he says, boom, just hit a 14 teamer college baseball opening day parlay. Whoo, 37 to 1. Twenty-five dollars plays nine hundred fifty-five. Here's to Noah Beanick and his sleepy ass. Go Knowles! I'll play your music for that one, man. So get, I appreciate it, Greg. We are the Seminoles of Florida State. We know we're good. Some Congrats! I go in simple, best in the land. Rockin' to the beat of the Mother Cheese Band on Saturday night. We'll start our stuff to show the nation the knows are tough. When other play us, they be ill, cause they all know we just be chillin'. Davidson is getting seven and a half points. This line came down seven and a half at the Bonnies. And yes, that is Deion Sanders at in that song. Um, seven and a half points. I'm going to take the point. I am too. I am too. I like both these programs. Like it, it's just too well coached. Teams that that will play close game, in my opinion. Uh, the LSU Tigers are heading into Columbia, Missouri, and I have already bet this game. I just want to see if there's line movement here. Can't find it. Where the fuck is this game? I think it went up for South yeah, Carolina. Yeah, that's my problem. Seven. This one, this one up way, way. This one up a point and a half since two o'clock. I bet this game at South Carolina minus five and a half. I locked this up, but seven. I already bet it, so I'm still going. 
but be weary. If uh, out of all the locks, I would say it's seven. I don't feel nearly as comfortable, but since I already bet it, let's go lay the points. Mac. So when you get drilled by 40, it could, you could either bounce back or it could shake you. I don't think South Carolina is as good as a record. I've said that over and over again. Give me LSU. LSU's desperate too. I think South Carolina finds a way to win the game, but I'm locking LSU plus seven. Getting two possessions against South Carolina. Let's go. They got they, they lost by 40 earlier and they responded with a bunch of wins. Not well, well, I don't get <laughs> they bring me in cold, but they're counting down seven, six, five. Unless you on the second end of a back-to-back -back away, you guys are making a mistake. Live here. Right, we got a battle. Dundee with the Gamecocks. Mac, say we Tigers. Uh, Bowling Green is at Eastern Michigan. Fuck is this line? You see this anywhere? Uh, too many Green. fucking games. Bowling Green's laying six. <sighs> I'll take Bowling Green. What are you doing here? Take Bowling Green, Joe. Binghamton is laying two and a half at NJIT. <laughs> at the Wellness Center of Instant uh, New Jersey Technology. <laughs> Give me Binghamton. Despite them being ass lately, Gammy Binghamton. What are you doing here? Yeah, I'll take Binghamton. Arkansas State is at South Alabama. It's a pretty good game there in the Sun Belt. Arkansas State's laying two. They're not going to go undefeated on the road here. South Alabama wins this game. Give me the two. What are you doing here? I'm buying into Ark State. I think they're playing good ball. Um, give me the Red Wolves here. Stony Brook is at Monmouth after hitting a half court game winner. <laughs> the Hawks of Monmouth are flying high. I am searching for the line right now because I don't see it. Trace. In favor of who? Monmouth is laying three. I think we take Monmouth. I will take Monmouth too. Should we lock that? I think so, man. I, yeah, I, think let's so. Go. I, I, let's I go. thought they played like shit the other night. Let's go. Let's go. Monmouth minus three against the Sea Wolves. There's no doubt in my mind that human being and fish can coexist peacefully. Uh, Bethune Cookman is at Alcorn State. Bethune is catching one and a half, please. <laughs> you know who's a cash cow for me, and I love swag basketball. All right. I'm logging I mean, up, but I'm, I'm riding Bethune until I lose. Until I lose. <laughs> until I lose. Bethune is a cash cow for me. Let's go, Reggie Theus. What are you doing here? I'll take Bethune, but no lock. Lafayette is catching six and a half at AU American. Give me Lafayette plus six and a half. What are yeah, you doing here? I'll take the point. I'm with you. The Miami Hurricanes are heading up to Chestnut Hill to take on Boston College. You see this line anywhere? What's this line right now? One. It's like a pick. In favor of who? Um, I think Miami. No. Who is favorite? BC's now? BC's laying one. So it flipped or zero. Yeah. I'm still taking BC. I can't trust Miami anymore. I'm out. I'm gonna I'm I'm locking BC. They're that NIL team has quit on Larinaga. I'm not locking it, but you fly BC. solo. BC. You fly solo. Dark side of NIL for Miami. Money line Mag locking up the Eagles. Nice. You should do a little Eagle parlay of Boston College and Marquette. Ride it ride high with those Eagles. Uh, uh South Carolina Upstate is at Norfolk State. This game is interesting to me because I like Norfolk state's program. What's this line? You seen this line? They're hiding from me today. Me They're fucking hiding from me. Norfolk state. Where the fuck are you? Norfolk state. Uh, Norfolk, Norfolk state's lay at eight. 
Give me the points. My North guy's Fork kind of win. playing good, man. Yeah, Norfolk, Norfolk wins by five. Win. Yeah. Give me South Carolina State, the Bulldogs. Let's go. Cincinnati's catching one and a half at the moon bounce down there against the very golden UCF Knights. This game's intriguing to me. Yeah. They played already. UCF actually controlled the game, and then Cincinnati was. I'll able take to UCF. I'll take UCF. I don't love it. What are you doing here? I love it in the other um, direction. Cincinnati just lost back to back home games. Desperate, desperate spot on the road. Got to stay on the bubble here. I'm locking up Cincy. They got to have Ooh. this game like blood. What a lot of mag. Locking up the Bearcats. Yep. Going solo. Going solo here. He's on the line here. Yes, Nathan is right. Shout out to White Tiger. Uh, yes, yes, yes. And uh, UMass Lowell heads to Bryant. You know, we've talked a lot about Bryant the past couple of days. You feel like their roster is better than their performance this year. This They're interesting. For, don't they? This is an interesting game here. Where the f- Bryant is laying one and a half. Should we lock Bryant? Yes. Line sell with you. everything. Let's go. Bryant minus one and a half. Let's ride. The Kansas Jayhawks. They say Kevin McCullough game time decision. Is that still true? How long can you be fucking sick? What does he got? What the hell's going on? He's got AIDS? What the fuck's happening over there? <laughs> hey, he's been sick for like three weeks. I mean, I wish the guy the best. But I mean. They're just, they're pulling a Belichick here on the injury report. You know what I mean? <laughs> Banged up uh, on the beat. Kansas is laying one and a half in Norman. I need to know that information. No lock, but I think Kansas wins. You know what time of year it is. Kansas is done. Kansas isn't going to win the big 12 favorite play of the day. Kansas. I don't care if McCuller plays or not. Kansas will win. This really? Game. Yes, I do. It's I do. Self. I know, but. I I thought I don't Trust think they're as good. They're not, as, they're not as good as normal. They're not as good as <laughs> and normal. They say that every, I'm telling you, they say this every year, and he'll find a way. He'll be a two or three seed. They'll I'm just saying, out. from an eye test, when I watch them, they look like a worse Kansas to me than the past five years. I agree, but they'll share yeah. the Big Twelve title somehow. They'll find a way to backdoor their way into it, like Bill always does. So give me Kansas. They'll win against Porter Moser, who can't win a big game. Give me Kansas. Lock this shit up. You're flying solo, but I am taking Kansas. So if that helps you, let's go. Money line Mac, locking up the Jayhawks. After he talked ten minutes of shit about Hunter Dickinson, oh, I mean, we don't know if McCullough's got to be playing, right? I mean, they they ins- they're insulting me with this injury report. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's got to be playing. This is a huge game for them. They're not going to go one and seven on the road. They figure. And that everybody's like, this isn't the same can't they say this every single year. I'm telling you, they they're going to win this game tomorrow. Fucking we Oklahoma have, can't win a big game either. We have a great game in the Southland. The top two teams. The top two teams are going at it in yep. uh Thibodeau, Louisiana at the, at the Stouffer gym. McNeese won by six last time they played. McNeese is in first place. Nichols is in second. Nichols is getting 10 and a half and I am taking Nichols plus 10 and a half. What are you doing here? I like Nichols too, man. So we should lock this. Yeah. They're feisty at home. We should, they they're beat feisty. LSU at LSU. Yeah. They're solid. Let's go. Colonels plus 10 and a half. Shout out to Rob Donaldson. who says he's got another 1200 on, on Nichols. Nichols, baby. Let's go. Fucking Sacred Hot is at Wagner taking on the fucking Seahawks or whatever the whatever the Wagner vacuum company is called. Wagner's laying two and a half. I'll be honest, I think Sacred Heart's a better team than Wagner. I will take Wagner. Uh, I'm sorry, I will take Sacred fucking Sacred Hot plus two and a half. What are you doing here? I agree. I think the wrong team's favorite. Give me Sacred Hot. Dude, I'm close to locking that. I know it's crazy. I think we should. Yeah. Did you watch that Wagner game the other night? Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't like to see him. I, I like Sacred Heart. They, I do too. Let's old. lock up Sacred yeah. Heart. I'm fucking locking up. Sacred Heart. We're locking up fucking Sacred Heart. Maybe you parlay that with the fucking shocks. Oh, Holy Cross. 
How about a little boss? Uh, I know say, fucking Sacred Heart is what, Connecticut? That's Connecticut, I think. You take, you take uh, fucking Sacred Heart, you parlay that with uh, Holy Cross, you cash. Um, Southern Indiana's getting 10 and a half at Little Cock. It's a huge letdown spot for Little yes. Cock. I think yes. we should. I think we should lock Southern Indiana. Absolutely, this is the Little Rock fucking letdown spot. Uh, Screaming Eagles. Screaming Eagles plus ten and a half. Let's ride. North Dakota State is taking on Denver, heading up to Denver. No, Phoenix gone. He's, he's talking baseball now, but uh, Denver's laying three. I will lay the three with Denver. They're not going to lose at home twice in a row. Not this Denver team. What are you doing here? I'll take the Bison culture. Uh, East Tennessee State's catching seven and a half at Western Carolina. <sighs> Had a hard time with this one, man. Part of me thinks Western Carolina is going to fuck them up, but then I'm like, ETSU just got worked by their rival. I'm taking Western Carolina reluctantly. Don't bet this game. What are you doing I'm on, here? I'm on ETSU, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to bet this. Uh, Hawaii is heading to UC Santa Barbara. Where's this line? It's hiding from me. Uh, Ooh, this, let's lock Santa Barbara. This guy feels like a trap. Give me Hawaii. I, I think Santa Barbara sucks, man. You think they're going to go on the road, though, and win both their California games right now? I actually no. think Hawaii is pretty good. They just have been injured. I do, too. I do, too. But I, I think they're better than Santa Barbara. No, buddy. We're doing battle. Well, I'm not betting this. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> You're just automatically trying to bring me into this. I <laughs> thought you were locking Hawaii. No, no, no. I'm locking UC Santa Barbara minus two. You're a f- yeah, it's a far trip. Those road trips are insane. It's like going to Boston from L.A. Delaware State is at Coppin State. A little rivalry game here. Delaware State's lay at seven. Give me Coppin plus seven. What are you doing here? I'll go Coppin. I'm with you. North Carolina Central is at Howard. This game's low key fantastic. So like a this is what I mean. Like the slate had these little gems in here, like like uh, McNeese Nichols. North Carolina Central's in second place in the MIAC. At Howard, who's in third place, I personally think at times, at times I've thought these teams are the best two teams in the conference. Norfolk State's really good too, so it's a fun game there at the Burr Gymnasium. Central won by uh, nineteen, I think it was the last time they played. Yeah, which was January sixth. Um, Howard is laying three and a half after losing by nineteen. We should bet on Howard. <laughs> I agree. I think Howard's going to drill. Let's go. Telling I you. love Lavelle Moten. He's my guy, but the line is telling you everything. Telling you. Howard. Howard minus three and a half. Let's go. And I get it. Howard Howard has injuries. I think he's playing this game, though, according to this injury report. Shout out to Bernard Kang. Great name. Love Bernard King. Um, I think he's playing. I think he's playing this game. Anyway, um, yes, and Danny Dumbshit, uh, 250 thumbless circus animals in here haven't cashed, haven't, I'm sorry, cashed, haven't smashed the the like button. What are you guys doing right now? Come right? on. We got 430 gold. people in here. <sighs> you know, you can only try. Well, T.S. Eliot wrote that, right? There's only the trying. Come on. It takes a fucking second out of your day. That like button. Even if you're watching this shit on TV, grab, grab whatever. Hit that like button. Get on over there. Uh, fucking Gardner Webb. I don't know why I said it in Boston accent, but uh, no, Gardner Webb is that South Carolina Upstate. I just like uh, probably. I just like doing shtick. But uh, this is a fun game. Why is the line so short? What's the number? Three, two, two and a half. I'm seeing. I think we should still bet G Webb. Yes, I think they're better. They won the first meeting and upstate ended their season on that fucked up four point play last year. So I think, I think they really, I think they want to sweep their ass. 
Let's go. Running Bulldogs. Running Bulldogs. Let's go. Shout out to uh, shout out to Daryl in the chat and shout out to Blunts McGee. Great fucking name. That's a great name. Great fucking name. Uh, I would buy you a beer if I ever met up with you, Blunts McGee. And, and Daryl's a longtime listener. Shout out to Daryl. He's a great guy. Um, interesting game in the Sun Belt. This is what I mean. There's some low key gems. Louisiana is heading to Boone, North Carolina. Louisiana. Still alive to take that one seed there in the Sun Belt. They're getting seven in Boone. Last time they played, Louisiana won by 16, but it's been a minute. They didn't play for the past couple of years. Apps 12 and 0 at home. Give me Louisiana in the points. Yeah, I think App like, might win, but Louisiana is a better team, I think some realize. What are you doing here? Bob Marlin's a good coach. Good, good. Uh, you want to back the good coaches this time of year. Give me Bob Marlin in uh, Louisiana. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to watch that one, folks. I want to tell you the college basketball experience is brought to you by D- the Daytona 500 contest. Yes, rev those engines up. NASCAR is back, people. Check uh, check out the NASCAR Gambling Podcast. Highly recommended. Rob Via Gomez and Cody Zeeb have you covered for all things NASCAR and racing, from trucks to Cup, IndyCar to F1. This show gives you the drivers to watch and the most profitable picks for the weekend of racing. Shit, during the, during COVID, they were doing marble races. That's how much they love fucking races. They were handicapping marble races. All right. Uh, uh, enter their free Daytona 500 contest for a chance to win a hundred dollar SGPN gift card and a hundred bucks in cash. Go to sports gambling podcast.com slash Daytona. That's sports gambling podcast.com slash Daytona. I mean, you should do that. I mean, it's 200 bucks. Might as well. Fuck it. Jump on over there. It takes two seconds to fill that out. Uh, anyway, we're also brought to you by underdog fantasy. Look, underdog fantasy has a way to play alongside your favorite fantasy players all season long. They got NBA NHL and college basketball. Simply pick higher, lower in your favorite players, fantasy stats and cash in. I, I was talking about this earlier. We cash. So I'm currently sweating this out as uh, San Diego state's up nine at the two minute mark or two fifty eight, basically three minute mark uh, in San Diego. But we hit on a uh, Justin Moore over eight and a half points. He scored 10 as Villanova took down Georgetown. We're waiting on San Diego state. One of the things I played was uh Lede under 18 and a half points. I might eat shit on this. Cause he has 21. I did damn it. But my point is you can find some really nice gems out here. I thought I was on, on one today. We hit the other night though. So um, check it out. I, I strongly urge you to check it out because you can win a hundred times the amount of money you went to with some of their spicy, spicy plays. You simply pick higher or lower in your favorite players, fantasy stats, and you cash in people. All right. So check it out. Uh, Underdogfantasy.com. When you sign up, sign up with the promo code TCE SGPN. Underdog will double your first deposit up to $100. Once again, that's Underdog Fantasy promo code TCE SGPN. And if you ever sign up you, with using that promo code, take a screenshot of that. Sh- show it to me at, at the Colby D on Twitter. I'll send you a college basketball experience t shirt. How about that? All right, we are back on the college basketball experience as we're, we continue to break down 10,000 basketball games and animals. Um, Real quick, score update San Diego State up eight with two to go. Dude, it, dude the sweat it, is every real. Time, every time they get it to 12 or 13, New Mexico brings it right back down to six. So hopefully we can close this thing out. Yes, yes, yes. Morehead State heads to UT Martin. This is a little. This is a little interesting, right? Just top two teams in the OVC. I know Moorhead State just coming off the loss. Is there blood in the water with this program a little bit right now? Can UT Martin clip them? They're currently in second place. Moorhead State's a four point favorite. Back to back away games for Moorhead State, who's 20 and six. Yeah. I'm going to take a flyer on UT Martin. I don't know, man. They got fucked up last time. I'll take a flyer on UT Martin. Give me I, like Martin. I like Martin here too. I think, I think, I think Moorhead finds a way to get it done in a one possession game in the OVC. Texas A&M commerce is at Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Where the fuck is this line? I've been trying to find this line for a minute here. Um, you see this anywhere? Uh, commerce. Mm. Where the fuck mm. is commerce? They hide on some of the websites. If you're doing the search button, 
I know, I know. They hide under their uh, initials. Well, yeah. yeah, fuck. Where the fuck is this Corpus Christi? Chad, help us out a little bit here. Yeah, this. Uh, you're right because I'm, I'm on Visa right now, and they abbreviate a bunch of shit. That's what I'm saying. They throw out TCCU, all that bullshit. Um. All right, we'll come back. To, uh, commerce. commerce and, okay. uh, Shout out to Aisha Wilson who gave us ten bucks. Uh, appreciate you. Cashed on Queens and Dartmouth and sweating it out with you on San Diego State. There we go. Appreciate you. Really do. Um, and uh, I will lay the points with Corpus Christi. I think Commerce is horrible. What are you Agreed. doing here? Agreed. Yeah. I might even I might even bet that. If I'm up on the day, I might bet that. Um moving along. <laughs> These Saturdays are great. <laughs> if I'm yeah. up, it's like yeah, you know, between that and uh the first 30 locks that we get. Well, I also end up chasing the dragon, so there's a high chance that I I bet that. Um either Western, way you're gonna bet it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Western Illinois. The only way I don't bet is if I get too drunk. Uh Western Illinois is at Tennessee State. Searching for this one too. Uh, uh, Tennessee State's laying two. We should lock Western Illinois. They were easy money the other night. They're yes, better than Tennessee State. I agree. Let's their go. coach, their program. Leathernecks plus two. Let's ride. Um, Simo is at SIU Edwardsville. 11 SIU is yeah laying eleven and a half. Lay it. <laughs> lay it. <laughs> I'll lay it too. Lindenwood is at Eastern Illinois. Eastern Illinois is laying eight and a half. Sleepy spot for my Panthers, but I still am going to ride my Panthers. I will lay it. I'll take the points. <laughs> <laughs> you love you love you love Lindenwood there. I love Lindenwood. Um, Penitentiary. Uh wait, he's saying Corpus Christi plus twelve and a half. There are the favorites. Commerce, I think you're thinking of. Yeah. Um, uh, Maryland Eastern Shore is getting five and a half at Morgan State. No rivalry game. Give me the points. Give me the points as well. Yeah, Lipscomb is laying nine and a half at Central Arkansas. What is this? Why I mean, is this, this number re- so big? I know. This reek. Stay away. <laughs> Central Arkansas just beat him on January eighteenth. I'm gonna lay take it. The, I'm. Lying. I will take the points. No bet. No bet. Yeah. All right. It, it reeks to high hell. Uh, Houston Christian is at Sela. Sela's laying fourteen. Ooh, that's a lot. I'll still lay it. <laughs> I, I will too, but I'm not going much higher. Um, Charleston Southern is catching twelve and a half at UNC Asheville. Give me Southern in the points. Yeah, I'll take Southern in the points, and you can queue up our victory, San Diego State final, eighty-one seventy. Needed that big night, Woo. biggest bet on the night. Let's fucking Woo, go! Hit Need that them. like button, hit that subscribe button. Aztecs kicking ass at home. Let's go! Oh, man, I needed that. I was at 500 on the night. I really needed that one. Let's fight. That was my biggest bet of the night too. So, let's go. Let's go. Um, where the hell was I at? I was talking Northern Colorado and Sac State. I'm just going to go ahead and say, I don't have the line in front of me, but lock it. Northern Colorado's laying six. We got to lock this. Stinks? Yes. Yeah. I'm I'm out on this game. I, I feel like this could be a bullshit Northern Colorado five point win. Some bullshit, like crazy shit. All right, you've talked me into not betting this. Yeah, Give me that, Northern that Colorado, might, that though. Reeks, man. It does. It does. ULM is catching 12 at Troy. Don't look now, but ULM, they're on a three game win streak. They've done this a couple times this year where they catch lightning in a bottle. They had another like three game win streak in mid January. Give me the points in ULM. What are you doing here? Give me the points. Yeah. Lamar is laying five and a half at new Orleans. Lamar has been so bad on the road. They're one in 10 on the road. (laughs) Give me Lamar. I don't feel good about it. What are you doing here, Mac? Yeah, I'll take Lamar. 
I, but I'm not betting this. Yeah, no, this is a, uh, this is this one. I could I could make a case for either team coming out of this one. Uh moving along. Let's jump down to the likes of UC Riverside is heading to UC Davis. Riverside is getting six at UC Davis. <laughs> Wrong team favored. <laughs> we Riverside's playing good ball right now. I'll lock I it. Let's go. Oh, back to twelve. Yes, give me the six and Riverside. The market has not adjusted to the Highlanders. Talks like this. You're the man now, Riverside. Um, yeah, we gotta ride that. Um, Idaho. This is a fun one. Idaho State's at Idaho. It's a shame Noah's not here. Where's Bean uh, again? <laughs> he's our Idaho basketball uh, expert, sort of. Um, even though I feel like he never hits on the Idaho schools. Uh, Idaho State's laying two and a half in Moscow. Ooh. This is a revenge game. Idaho State won by five in Pocatello. <sighs> Give me the Vandals to win. What are you doing here? Give me the Vandals. I'm with you. No, no bet though. No bet. No, fuck no. <laughs> this is a fun one here that I'm going to have to find eyes on this game. I believe the two best teams, I, I maybe you can make a case for Montana, but Weber state is at Eastern Washington. Eastern Washington's laying four. I am going to lock up Eastern Washington. They haven't covered in a couple games in a row, but both teams have won. Weaver's won five in a row. E dubs won four in a row. E dub is not lost at home this year. I think E dub is a better basketball team than Weaver. It's only four points. E dub minus four. Let's go. They've lost like three or four in a row. ATS. What are you doing here? I think Weaver's better. I'm going to battle you here. I I, I think I think Edub's not as good. I I, I like Edub, but give me Weber all day. Let's go. I don't think Weber's that good, man. I mean, I think they're like one of the better teams in the they conference. Had the wake but up call the other day. Let's go. Let's do some battle. Pick Dundee flying with the Eastern Washington Eagles. Money line Mac digging a Wildcat to Weber State. Let's go. Um, Arkansas Pine Bluff put out an APB on Pine Bluff. They are heading to the great state of Alabama to take on uh, Mont, you know, the Hornets of there in Montgomery, Alabama. <sighs> Both these teams are five and five in their last ten, but APB has lost three in a row. You got a line on this. Shout out to Elliot Money giving us a hundred bucks. Boom. Appreciate y'all. K State rolls tomorrow <laughs> tomorrow mortgage payment. Oh god. Can I can I get a pick for the Daytona five hundred? Of course you can. Jeff Gord. Yes. I mean get on there and, and and Elliot, we have a contest. Feel free to enter that. It's free. It's free also, folks. Get on there, check out the NASCAR gambling podcast. Those guys are great guys. I've known both of them for a long time. Uh check it out. And like I said, they cover all racing. All right. So like their race knowledge is legit. I'm not just saying that I've been way too, I've had way too many whiskeys and walked into a part of a conversation where they're talking about fucking uh motocross or something. And I'm like, good God. I got no, no idea what the fuck they're talking about, but I, I know that they're knowledgeable. Um, what is his, uh, did, he, did let me know when he answers that who he has and I'll put or put it up on the screen, but let me read this shit. Uh, Pine bluff is at Alabama state. You see this? Uh, yes, Alabama State's laying six and a half. I'll put out an APB on Pine Bluff. They cover. What are you doing here? Let's go APB. Let's go. Let's go. Shout out to Tyler Daniels. First time in the live show. Best college basketball channel on YouTube, man. We are grateful, man. And thank you for checking us out. Please, if you can, tell a friend. Always helps. Uh, and yeah, in general, we are grateful. Um, Matt Jones says, "Bet on NASCAR. You won't regret it." I will. I listened to Cody Zeeb and, and Rob Via Gomez. So uh yeah. Shout out to Off Grid Sports. Here's a wine cooler on me, Noah. You're a good person. People like you, and you're a winner. I agree, man. Five dollars. Appreciate you, Off Grid Sports. No being and no Noah, Noah is a great guy. Look, a lot of times I bust his balls. Uh, but that's just what you're supposed to do. 
All right. Here's a perfect example. If you've ever been to Circa in Las Vegas, Derek Stevens owns Circa. He owns actually like three or four hotels there in Vegas. And he used to own the minor league baseball team. Derek's a great guy, friend of the program. I mean, I could, I could cue this up right now. Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, this is Derek Stevens. I'm the owner of Circa Las Vegas. You're listening to SGPN. Let him ride. He's on with the SGP guys every Friday night on VEASAN. Uh, Derek's a great guy. I've gotten drunk with him a bunch of times. <laughs> and uh, he's from Michigan. Noah's from Michigan. Well, we brought Noah to Vegas last year. And the minute Derek f- Derek meets Noah, first off, they do this thing of like, where the fuck are you on the mitten? Like, what part of Michigan are you from on the mitten or whatever? Some weird shit that only Michigan people do. But then he takes all of our papers, throws them on the ground and makes Noah pick them all up. Right. He makes Noah pick them all up and says, you're with these guys. You're fucking 21 years old. You're lucky you're with these guys. Pick up all those fucking papers. Now, look, we're being mean. You could say we're being mean to Noah, but he goes, yeah, you know, we're just a guy that just hit us up and we started rolling with Noah. Derek Stevens then gives him like a couple hundred bucks in, in, uh, in, in uh, poker chips so, I mean, it was a win-win situation, but the point is Noah's a 21 year old kid. We got to fuck with them a little bit. We got to fuck with them a little bit. You know what I mean? Your little I, brother, man. I got a DM saying like, I'm too tough on Noah. And I'm like, no, we're, we're not tough on, on him at all. We're not tough on him. Like we're, we're just fucking with him. We Bill's love character. Noah. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> um, it's my guy, man. Yeah. I mean, we love Noah. Let's go. It was the man. Uh, there we go. Shout out he to team leader. It bullshit narrative coming in. Yeah. Here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Noah's a pit fan too, though. I mean, so, you know, oh, um, he's a good, guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Illinois is at Maryland. Maryland is catching two and a half points. I think Maryland's going to beat Illinois tomorrow. I will take Maryland on the money line. I love Maryland here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's lock this. You're young. They're going to sweep their ass. Let's, Let's bet go. this. They beat Let's him in go. campaign. They're going to beat him here. Let's fucking go. My mom's still in the house. Maryland's been on fire. Since my mom's been in the house. She's a Maryland grad. Let's go. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> I like Danny Dumpshit. One of my favorite names, by the way. Just a, just a great fucking great. guy. <laughs> Uh, youtube.com slash the college experience. Subscribe, subscribe. Uh, Brian Sanchez. How the fuck did you get him at? Th- did you do it? Did you tease? He must've teased. Did you tease buddy? <laughs> Good work. Brian Sanchez. Um, Syracuse is laying one and a half at Georgia tech. Dude. Syracuse just beat Carolina. Georgia tech's winning this. Give me yeah. the yellow jackets. <laughs> lock. Let's go. I don't, I don't know how to lock because yellow jackets have been all over the place for me this year, man. This is back at home though. I mean, Georgia tech's playing pretty good ball. They uh, all right. Today. All right. Look, I, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go here. Let's they go. only win big home. Games. Let's take big the yellow games. jackets. Let's take the yellow jackets. <laughs> uh, this game's low key. One of the best games of the day, in my opinion. Utah state's getting six in Fort Collins. This is like the one team that wouldn't be affected by altitude them in Wyoming, but Col- this is a fucking great game. This is a great game. I got to watch all of this shit. No one fuck with me. All right. You hear that white tiger. We're watching mountain West basketball tomorrow. Um, Utah state looking for the sweep. They won by five. I think, I think Colorado state's going to get them, man. I just don't know. Six points a lot. It's a lot for another team that's not affected by altitude. You know what? Give me Utah State plus a six. I think Colorado State wins Ooh, though. Man, I'm on Colorado State, man. I I I think it's a bounce back off that embarrassing. Second I think they're half. gonna win. I think they're gonna win. I just I think, think six. Well I don't think Utah State's as good as a record. It's a great story, but this is the time of year where great stories regress a little bit. Colorado State, lock it up. Hey, Isaiah Steve. Oh, Brian Sanchez live bet. Look at that. Look at that. Shout out to Brian Sanchez. Daniel uh, said the best team in the league, San Diego State. <laughs> yeah, but Blue I'll blood. tell you this, man. That tournament's gonna be fucking awesome, man. Oh, it's gonna be I should oh, man, I should go to Vegas a week early. It's just too much time in Vegas. I can't spend that much time in fucking Vegas. 
I, I did a 10 day stand up stretch once in Vegas. <sighs> My complexion was like fucking green yeah. and not from money for me, not eating a fucking vegetable in like 10 days. I just looked my, like I, I was looking at photos of myself at the time I was single, like some girls took some photos and I'm in the photos. I look like, dude, I look like a Nick Nolte mugshot. You know what I mean? Like I just looked, I got to find that and post that. I got to find that and post that. I, I didn't know it here. Um, anyway, Northwestern States getting two and a half at incarnate word. It's insulting. It is insulting. We are locking up Northwestern state. Are we not? Uh, is this a trap? I dub just won a game. I like, I like Northwestern state here. Um, I, I'm going to stay away. This, this is, I'll fly solo on my demons. Give me the plus two and a half with Northwestern state. Right. Uh, Shout out to Cranny. It says, I'll be in Vegas both weekends. See, I'm there during, during the week too, though. Do you go home during the week and just come back? Because I have shit I got to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it's like you're you're just stuck in this hotel. I mean, it's great in a way, but it's yeah. exhausting. But like day six or seven on a 10 day stretch, you're just like, get me out of this fucking city. Get me out of this fucking city. But uh, yeah, shout out to Michael Barber. Is that the pick on your Twitter? Uh, that is not. That is not, but that is a great pick. I do agree. Um, so my heart, and I think your heart is with this, with this one here. Washington State um, is laying eight and a half against Stanford. I have a text today from a Wazoo grad that is super fucking excited about this. He's he's, he's a lawyer. He's a lawyer now in Arizona. Yeah. But he is ready to spend some big bucks on Wazoo. And I'm like, pump the brakes because I'm taking Stanford in the points. But, I, but I think Wazoo is going to win. Give me Stanford in the eight and a half. I think we lock Stanford. I think Stanford's going to hang right in this game. It's the excitement with Washington State's at a total fucking high. Um, Love love Wazoo. I hope I hope they win the whole fucking thing. But I think Stanford's going to hang in this game. I'm locking the tree huggers. No lock for me. No lock for me because there's something special heart. about you know that. the tree no lock. In game. No lock for me. Okay, Shout thing. out to Travis Justice that says Dundee's a fraud. Uh yes, the name picked Dundee is not my real fucking name. So you are correct. My government name is not Pick Dundee, you fucking jackass. All right? Anyway, it's okay. Your negative energy is bouncing off my fucking face like it's a ping pong ball. You know what I mean? So get this bullshit out of here, Travis. You're not, you're not going to touch me. I'm in a good mood. San Diego State won. All right? I want to make fun of you for 10 minutes right now, but I know we're two and a half hours into a show. I would like to make fun of you for a long fucking time. <laughs> but they, they, the people and my, my friends come back on Monday night. <laughs> yes. On a Monday night, please leave that comment. Please leave that fucking comment. Um, anyway, let's go. Uh, UTEP is at middle Tennessee. Please tell me you're not going down this, 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 this road again. Please tell me middle Tennessee's laying one and a half. We got to lock up middle Tennessee. Oh God. This, yeah. I'm locking it. I am locking it. They are fire in Murfreesboro. UTEP is ass. Let's go. Let's go. All right. All right. You talk me into it. Murfreesboro is a cash cow. There's free money in them hills. Johnny Red Floyd Stadium. Uh, I mean, football, but I mean, it's great. Uh, Kentucky is catching. What is it? What is this line? Is this moved? I have a feeling it's moved. Man, is it still eight and a half? Are you sure? Yeah. Because I already bet this when it was a half a point higher. I'm still taking Kentucky. I think they're covering this game. I actually think it's not crazy to play the money line. It's not crazy. Remember they won at Kansas a couple years ago? Yeah, they, they play enough of these big profile games. Now, normally it's not at the jungle. 
you know, it's different, but they play a lot of neutrals against big time programs. I think they can cover this number. I know, I know it's somewhat insane because Auburn is fire at home, but I've already bet this at nine. So at eight and a half, I still say you gotta fly. You gotta ride. Let's go Wildcats. What are you doing here, buddy? I am battling you. Dude, they can't guard a shadow. How are they going to stop well, Auburn? I don't get it. I get it. They cold, but Dude. they're counting down 7, and 6, 5. Auburn Nothing. just won by 40. There's got to be regression. There's got to be. Everybody in that fucking jungle. No. By, they beat Bama by 20. They beat South Carolina. They're Bama is a rival. Is a rival. It's different. It's different. This you is don't it. Think Earl wants to beat fucking uh, Calipari after Calipari <laughs> ran it up by it. thirty plus <laughs> last year. Yeah, Auburn's gonna fuck their ass up. Let's go, Auburn. We got a battle. Dundee going with the Wildcats. Money line, Max saying, "Give me the Tigers." You got a Tiger parlay sitting there with LSU and, and Auburn. If you really feel compassionate about this one. Fucking Dartmouth just cashed for us or for me tonight. You pushed. Fucking Dartmouth is taking on the big red freshmen's of Cornell. That's this line already out. I don't have a line, is there? <laughs> no, because he's fucking dumbass. Fucking non twenty four games. Yeah. He played back to back. Uh, Idiot. Yeah. Shout out to shout out to you. Oh. Look, we know we know the real ones. We know the real ones yeah. here. All right. I mean, yes. Both of us. Yes. We're good. We're good people. We're good sons of bitches. All right. Let's go. Um, check the picks page. People say, well, how do you check the picks page? Sports gambling podcast.com. All right. Get on over there. There also is an S- there's an SGPN app. It's free to download in the app store and Google play store. Got a lot of opportunity there. I can't tell you much more. If you can't find it from there with all due respect, you know, Fuck yourself. Yeah, it's there. It's there. College basketball picks. Noah would throw it in the chat right now, but I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go find that. Just find me on a Noah day. On a Noah day. All right. Google it. Uh, Vanderbilt's catching 21 at Tennessee. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Vanderbilt just won on a buzzer beater. They're about to lose by 30. They're about to lose by fucking 30. But it is a rivalry game. Give me Vandy. Give me the. Give me Vandy. What are you doing here? I'm with Dan. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Shout out to uh, (laughs) shout shout out to Michael Barber, who uh, (laughs) get Noah some Robitess and fun, uh, and he gave us two bucks. Thank you, thank you. (laughs) Yes, and uh, yes, uh, Baylor is at West Virginia. I had C.J. Sullivan hit me up today, and he goes, "Dundee, what's Max saying about West Virginia?" Baylor's been playing good. And I go, dude, you don't want to ask him. He's going to take West Virginia. <laughs> <sighs> Baylor's the hottest team in the big 12. <laughs> hottest team in the big 12 coming to the Hills. Oh man. I'm t- I'll take West Virginia. No luck. No luck. You're locking this. Fuck yeah. I'm locking this. Nobody's going to take him in the chat. Nobody's going to bet West Virginia tomorrow. Why is the line not 10? <laughs> Why is the line not 10? All right, I'll go with you. Yeah. I'll We're gonna go win with again you. We're going to get out right. Kansas Bridge is here. Down here is now right. Home sweet home to me. Good old Morgantown. Morgantown WB. Morgantown WB. All right. Grambling is at Texas Southern. Um, line. I don't see. Grambling is at Texas Southern. Uh, let me fly ball caught. Um, uh, Grambling. Grambling's four. catching four. This is an interesting game because Grambling didn't they just they just got upset by Alabama A and M. Oh, that's a horrible loss. Southern's coming off a loss though. I'm on Southern. Lay, lay the points with Southern. What are you doing here? Four is a lot though in the SWAC. I agree. Uh, give me, give me Grambling. Give me Grambling. Let's go. Uh, I said t- I'm on Southern. Oh, I think you said <laughs> <laughs> four you know, is a lot. <laughs> I, they win by five. They win by five. I, I like Grambling. Yeah. Brown is at Penn. We don't have a line on it. Check the picks page. 
Harvard is at Columbia. We don't have a line on it. Check the picks page. Wait, didn't all these teams just play? Oh, wait, the Ivy League is that fucking stupid. Yeah. They play Friday, yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Stupidest league ever. I hate them, man. Yes. And shout out tomorrow morning, me and Terrell Furman Jr. Hey, will be live. Okay. Let's fucking go. 500. Yes, we have 506 people in the chat right now. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. And Terrell Furman will be on tomorrow morning show talking college hoops, but also check out his work. All right. Uh, NBA gambling podcast, WNBA gambling podcast. Terrell's the man and uh, Terrell. We're taking North Carolina A and T in the points tomorrow. Are we foolish? Like you can save it to tomorrow morning. If you don't want to answer. Cause I know we got a game time decision on their best player, but Oh, there we go. There you go. There we go. Shout out to Terrell doing, doing, doing good work. There we go. Um, so Terrell in the halftime of the Super Bowl. They they said it was Usher. I thought it was Terrell out there. <laughs> <laughs> I said, look at my man out there. <laughs> oh man, look at you. Look at you. Say that. Uh, yeah. I, I actually did not catch the halftime show. I had to change diapers. Uh, your father now. Yeah, changing diapers. That's a fucked up thing, dude. Let's be honest. When you're that young in life, that shit's foul. It's always going to be foul, I believe. Yeah. But I mean. Those, those are tough. I could sympathize with uh, people that were changing <laughs> diapers. Um, Georgia Southern is at JMU. Southern has been awful this year. They're catching 20 at JMU right now. I'm taking the points. It's got to be a look ahead spot. It's got to be a look ahead spot because Southern has been so bad this year. Yeah. They're at It's at Marshall next. Yes, that is a look ahead spot a little bit. Marshall's fire at home. Give me Southern plus the points. I'm going to take the points too. I'm with you. Yeah. Uh, Florida A and M is at Jackson state. Oh boy. Jackson state's laying 10. No, no. <laughs> yeah. No. Why did they Game- crowbar these Miak and swack games in on like Saturday <laughs> at six o'clock? I hate them. I'm like, can we not play these on Sunday or Friday night? <laughs> yeah. I just can't lay 10 with Jackson state right now. I've gotten burned by them lately. So I will take Florida A and M reluctantly. Do not bet this game. Do not bet this game. Um, and yes, with my ego, there's no room for background. <laughs> I'll be honest. I had the pick Dundee background, but my computer needs to go to the shop. Essentially, I need to go to the computer store, aka, <laughs> a- yeah. aka for for me, it's just the SGPN Studios where Ryan Kramer will clean the fuck out. Of- so every podcast with me being at home, instead of going on the computer that we have at the office it goes on the laptop and the laptop is, is deep. It's deep in files. You know, we're, we're crazy over here, but Louisville is at pit. Um, you know what we do here, man. I'm with you on this one. Yeah, this is a too lot. many fucking points. Pitts favored by t- uh, 12 points. I think there might even be a 12 and a half out there. Louisville's going to win this game. Let's jump on the. I don't think they're going to win, but I think they're going to cover. Give me the cards. Like you want it, fucking Miami. Let's go, cards. Let's go. Louisville. Kenny <laughs> Payne, my man. Come on. We're come up to, to 530. Please. We're up to. We're up to 530. If we can get to 600, that would be amazing. If we can get to 600 tonight. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to think of something to do, but I don't know. There's not that many games. There's enough games, but there's still, come on. We're at five 32. We can make this happen. Send it to your friends real quick. Send it to your fucking friends. Um, we need a, we need four K or sorry. We need four digits. Four K <laughs> would be good too. I mean, that'd yeah, be yeah. phenomenal. <laughs> uh, Southern is at Prairie view. Another, another good one in the swack. Uh, Southern. Where the fuck is this line? You got this line, this line somewhere here. Uh, I'm not seeing this. Wait, didn't we just do Southern? No. Southern's laying two at Prairie View. At Prairie View, yeah. This guy, didn't we do so? He's getting all of his black schools confused. He's getting, <laughs> he's fucking calling Terrell Furman Usher. This guy, he's got no, he just fucking, <laughs> you, you think they're all the fucking same. Hell. You think they're all the same. It's like well, a, we're all on the same network, YouTube. I mean, goddamn, I can't fucking find the fucking game. It's like it, that's like my that, that's like my my father thinks fucking Samuel Jackson and fucking uh, Lawrence Fishburne are the same humans. They look completely way fucking different. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, I think Terrell would have been better than Usher. Well, I mean, that might be a compliment too. That's. I'll be honest. Someone, 
someone had to be on a, a heavy amount of drugs, but they told me I looked like Leonardo DiCaprio once. And I said, I, I felt uncomfortable at first. And then I was like, I, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I was like, uh, how the, I, I don't think I look like Fia fucking Leonardo DiCaprio. You know, I don't think I look like anything close to Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, but I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, anyway, Travis justice. What's Travis justice saying there? Apologies. Dundee. What is he talking about? Nobody apologizes you're, for you're, anything. On this you're forgiven. Podcast. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. All right. Look, the, Unless you bet on I, Pitt or NC state and you lose. Then I never take lose. anything serious folks. If you, if you really think I take everything serious, well, maybe just dome football. I take serious, but, um, <laughs> Indiana state at, uh, Southern Illinois, S- Indiana state's laying four and a half. This is a fascinating game. This is like one of my top 10 games to watch tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> this is my favorite comment. You look like a mix between Leonardo and John candy. <laughs> there you go. That's great. I appreciate that one. I appreciate that one. Next. You're going to tell me I look like fucking uh, Ron Perlman. Um, Dude, I, I'm going to take Indiana State reluctantly, but n- no luck. This is a terrifying matchup. They could lose two in a row, and their chances wow. of an outright bid will be fucking completely annihilated. Why? Why is this line like not six and a half or seven and a half? I, I this 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 line scares me, man. Give me the Salukis, home dog, Saturday night. That place that place gets lit, and I mean we're talking about job searches. Where's uh Josh Shirts' head at? I mean, what job's he getting? He's done a great a job. Point. Maybe he's distracted. Uh, give me, give me the Salukis, man, as a home dog. You locking it? Yeah, let's go. I, 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 I have a bad, I have a bad feeling. Indiana State's gonna lose. I have a bad. Shout, feeling. Out, shout out to my guy Stone Labanowitz, who always tells me, "Don't let my Saluki dogs get hot." Moneyline Mac locking up Southern Illinois. It's fucking lit. UNC Greensboro, it does. That that's gonna be a great game. Yeah. UNC Greensboro is laying two and a half at Wofford. This is at Jerry Richardson Stadium. I'm gonna lay the two and a half, but this is another fun game. What are you doing here? Yeah, another fun game. Uh I'm gonna take the points in this one. Cal State Fullerton's catching ten and a half at UC San Diego. I will take the ten and a half. Uh, I'll, I'll take it too. I'll take it too. <laughs> <laughs> Eastern Kentucky is at Blarmine. What do you think I'm drinking tonight? I'm having a nice glass of Blarmine. Um, wait, has this line moved? EKU is laying six and a half, but this is an in state battle. I will take Blarmine plus six and a half. What are you doing here? Blarmine lock. I love Blarmine here. They can, they they fuck with EKU. They almost they were in the game the entire way at EKU. Now they get him as home as a dog, alarming all day. Oh man, they're so bad this year though, man. They're so They've bad been this spicy year. Lately though. I mean, I think you're right. I think the handicap is right. Like I think they always fuck with them. But yeah, alarming with, them. with the with that pivot pivot pass 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 uh shoot it with one second on the shot clock. Hard. I'll, I'll go. I'll go. In state rival. Let's go. Slow your blog now, Balarmin. Let's go. Elon is at UNC Wilmington. Um. Elon's catching sixteen. Ooh. Take the point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean. Yes, this is an in-state battle. I'll take the points. What are you doing? Yeah. I'll take the points. Northern Arizona is catching six and a half at Portland State. We should lock Portland State. They got drilled in Flagstaff by 21 on January 18th. They're off an overtime game the other night. They're nine and two at home, dude. I mean, I'm taking Portland State. I might bet this thing. Check the picks page. Georgia, I'm assuming you're taking Portland. Yeah, I'm going to take Portland, but I, I'm staying off the lock just because they beat Northern Colorado in that emotional overtime game the other night. Georgia State's at Old Dominion. 
Oh God. Something's got to give oh, Georgia God. state's laying one and a half. I will take old dominion. Give me ODU at, at home here. No, no lock. Is, is, is this the ODU game where they were up uh, on Georgia <laughs> state by what fucking 20 in the first half and somehow didn't cover six and a half. Oh my. Give me ODU. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm not betting uh, the fucking cowards anymore though. Fuck them. Yeah, you can't can't don't ever bet them again. All right, we we should talk about this one now. This is the toilet paper game. We got this confused last time. Remember, yeah. Central was at Western Michigan, and we yes. thought it was the toilet paper game. Uh, we were mistaken. At the McGurk in Mount Pleasant, Michigan, this is where they do the cell phone shit and have all the toilet toilet paper. And it's Western nice Michigan day. is at Central Michigan. Western Michigan is two and ten on the road. Central seven and two at home. The spread is only five. Oof. Oh man, I Western feel like we lost should... five in a row. Dude, we should bet Central. Why is it only five though? <laughs> we should bet Central. We should bet the chips. Fire up chips, man. Fire up chips. No, I'm all Western. I'm all Western. Do you want to battle? Mm-hmm. I like Western. Yeah. Money line. You know, it's a big, it's a good rivalry game. Let's they fucking started, battle. they started their losing streak. They're going to end it here. Let's go. Western Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All right. This is going to be great. I'm excited now to watch. I mean, I was excited before to watch this game. I love regionality and rivalries. I think that's what makes college sports so amazing. Uh, or one of the main factors. So let's do battle. <laughs> Dundee riding with the chips. Mac saying Buckham Broncos. Radford's catching seven and a half at high point. Nope, take high point. Uh I'm gonna go Radford. Um I think maybe they need a game like this where they fucking go play the best team and figure it out. Yeah. Shout out to Jay. I have no doubt Dundee could rattle off some uh some lines from Sarge. Um, we're talking uh, Beverly Hills cop, Billy. He always had that deep voice, Billy. We got to talk. I feel like he always says that. Cause Billy, Billy Rosewood would have all these crazy guns, Billy. We got to talk. I don't know. That's my fucking lame, lame uh, Beverly Hills cop. Uh, Liberty is at Sam Houston state. The flaming libs. In Texas, at the Bear Claw, need the line to, to accurately forecast this game, and I can't find I the line. Three and a half, right? Sam Houston's laying three and a half. No, Houston, Liberty's laying four and a half. Man, give me Sam Houston. Why is no that lock. line going up? No lock. No lock. Sam Houston. Sam Houston. Let's go. Oh, uh, <laughs> full metal jacket. Uh, yeah, I love full metal jacket, but let's, we'll do that one next time. Um, DePaul is at Providence. This one's like 20. <laughs> Dude, I keep taking DePaul and I keep getting just completely fucking destroyed. Don't bet it. I, don't bet it. Yeah. I think I, yeah. No, I, I don't I'm, bet it. I don't bet it. But I'm talking about even, I want my picks to be accurate. Yeah. Give me the 19 though with the ball. <laughs> uh, UT Rio Grande is hosting UT Arlington. Arlington's laying seven and a half. They're going to fuck the Mexicans up, aren't they? I think Arlington's good. I'll lay the seven and a half. No luck. Yeah, me too. The Mexicans are awful. I don't know. They cover for me. Just two games ago, I, I, you hate them more than me right now. Uh, Fresno State is it's at quit. Boise State. Quit. You want a lot? Oh damn, they put it at fifteen. Oh man, I think Boise's gonna fuck them up. Boise has lost two straight, but Fresno's playing a little bit chippier. Fifteen is a huge number. Give me the points in Fresno. I think Boise wins by twelve. What are you doing here? Fresno, shut up. Shout out to Michael Barber says Noah isn't uh, sick. Buy Mac a beer fund instead. Gives me two bucks. Thank you. Appreciate that. I appreciate it. Um, we don't have a line on Yale Princeton. That is one of the best games of the day. So stay tuned for me and Terrell tomorrow morning. All right, stay tuned for that. 
Post the Ivy League at it again. Yeah. NC State is at Clemson. <laughs> Clemson's laying eight. Lay it. Lay it. They're winning by 18. No, they're not. They're winning by 18. Oh, give me NC State. Lock it up. Oh, my God. You're so foolish. You're so full. You, you're going to eat a bundle of shit. You can't, you, you can't buy the pussy pack that high. will not cover this. They may win it out right. Yes. You're crazy. Uh, ben says, do you guys watch college baseball? We yeah. have a whole show going on right now with Noah being a coasting it. Yeah, and don't I go hosted there yet. last night. Don't go there yet. Yeah, that's true. Stay in here for about another three hours and then go over there. Um, yes, we, uh, we partake in, in college baseball, um, subscribe to the college baseball experience. Noah being doing great work. South Dakota's at St. Thomas, St. Thomas. Oh boy. What's this line? I don't even, what, what do we got? Uh, I think the Tommies were, I see 14. Yeah. Ooh. Lay it. What Lay are you it. doing here? Yeah. yeah. Shoenecker going to be Fucking rocking February the eighth. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna be rocking on a cold Saturday in the Tommyville. Let's go. Long Beach State is at Cal State Northridge. Northridge is fighting more than I thought. Boats off big wins the other night. This game is at a pick. This game is at a pick. Give me Long Beach Cold. I'm on Long Beach too. I think we should I th- actually think we should bet this. <sighs> Do we trust culture? I just think there's so much better. Long like, Beach is Northridge so, is a yeah. great story, but yeah. I just feel like Long Beach is a better team. But Picks eh. page. Picks yeah. page. Um, uh, Omar says Duke and Kentucky tomorrow. I, I Kentucky Duke. I picked, but I don't love that play. Uh, he's fading yeah. both Duke and <laughs> Kentucky tomorrow. Yeah. Um, fuck all these blue bloods. Give me Florida state and fucking Auburn all day. <sighs> Auburn, yes. Florida State wins a little bit of a stretch. Um, Duke sucks there, but Florida State is not a good basketball team. So, but they can beat anybody. Like Auburn, I understand anyone being confident about Auburn with the way they've been playing. Florida State is capable of beating anyone, but I, I just I don't have any confidence with Florida State. Uh, Northern Kentucky is at Milwaukee. This is a fantastic game. What the fuck is this line? Fuck is this line right now? Uh, Milwaukee's laying two and a half. Give me the North. Dog. I'm going to take, take Milwaukee, but I think there's a game. I think it's a game. No, no lock. Um, Michigan State heads to Ann Arbor, Michigan. Take on Jawan Howard. Tom Izzo, Jawan Howard. And it seems like the whole college basketball world doesn't even realize this is a game tomorrow. I know Michigan's getting six and a half. Give me the six and a half, man. Dude. I think Michigan state wins by one. I dude, I think Michigan's going to win. I I could see it. I can totally see it. I can see maybe is a pulling it out of his ass. I'm locking Michigan. Just like I'm locking Michigan <laughs> against fucking Wisconsin. Michigan's a live dog in this game. It's a rivalry. They got to that. Let's go. Let's go. No fucking Beanick for this game, too. It's yeah, no Beanick. What the hell's going on? This guy is out. fucking he's fair take, weather fan. Uh, shout out to Seaver. Dundee got a Rambo shrine. Let's go. I do. I do. Got that. I got. I got. Got a couple other classics. Got a couple other classics. You gotta. You know, I I do have several several. Uh, well, well, one day we'll do we'll do a. We'll do a tour of the, the Dundee studios. Um, South Dakota state is laying one and a half at Omaha. Oh, come on. Right, we got to go with those rabbits. Got to jump with those rabbits. They're the best. I mean, they're the best team in this league year in and year out laying one and a half against fucking Omaha. I'm taking this one. I'm diving into it. I know it reeks. No, I'll Dakota join you. I'll join you. Yeah. South makes Dakota. sense. Makes sense. Let's go. Let's go. In the wall. Uh, yes, I know. Uh, Cal is catching eight at Washington. I, I think we should go back to the well. Let's go back to the I well. Do I do too. Sprinkle the money line and watch him. Sprinkle won by 20. the know, fucking money line. Fucking Sprinkle the money line. Cal could win this game. Cal can. What is that money line right now? Let me see this. Cal may cover it the other way. Plus 260. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Cal, Cal, Cal Golden Bears. 
Come drop acid. Let's go. All right. Uh, folks, I want to tell you that the college basketball experience is brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets. Win bigger by betting smarter this NBA season with Hall of Fame Bets, a sports betting analytics platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Research every NBA and soccer bet with historical stats and data. Stop betting in the dark and join over 30,000 users researching with Hall of Fame Bets to craft more intelligent, data driven parlays. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGPA to get 50% off your first month today. Start researching, start winning with Hall of Fame Bets. All right, we are back on the college basketball experience. North Dakota, red hot this season, is North Dakota as they head to Bob Roberts. Take it on Oral Roberts. I'm trying to find a line, make sure I have the right line. Yeah. I will take North Dakota to win. North Dakota's I'm buying into that culture. I think wrong team's favored. North I'm Dakota with you. Walk it up. I'm with you. Look at the fighting hawks. Let's go. Uh Cal Baptist is at Grand Canyon. Cal Baptist is still, I'm still disappointed by that performance the other night. Still, it's still fuck with me a little bit. Um, where the hell is this line? It's 13 and a half. If I'm not mistaken. Now Cal Baptist in the points. And and I know people are going to be like, no, we can't go back to Cal Baptist. You're only as good as your last bet. Cal Baptist played the worst game of their season. Grand Canyon's overvalued right now. Lock up Cal Baptist. (laughs) I'm not locking. Oh, I, I can't am. lock in that stadium, dude. I can't lock. Uh, they oh, haven't away been covering team. lately. Though. I know, I know. That's why I'm taking Baptist, but I'm not we locking Baptist. it. They're yeah. gonna lose by seven. Money line mag locking up Cal Baptist. Austin P. The governors. Austin P. Is heading into North Alabama. North Alabama's laying three. Give me the governors. North Alabama had a huge win the other night. Give me like the, the governors. governors. Yeah. yeah, I'm with you. Give me the govs. Uh, let's talk about this one. And, and I believe uh, in the, the two o'clock show, Gary K came in the chat. Shout out to Gary K. Cause I thought he made a good, compelling argument here on why we should bet Missouri tomorrow. <laughs> you don't got to talk me into it. He, he's just saying they're, uh, they're winless in the sec. Uh, the Come fact, on. the fact that, uh, Ole Miss has a one point win at home against Detroit. I know they played a little bit better since then, but they're coming off the Kentucky game. Missouri's had a little bit of a break there. 12 and a half and plus five fifty on the money line. Yep. Let's go. I'm with you, man. Let's they're go. They're not going to win this. Shout out to Tom uh, Lovell, aka Sugar Tits. Great, great fucking nickname. nickname. Uh, we still going, Colby. Time to get a beer, burger, and chips at Hanano's. He knows Venice Beach. It's my spot, man. That was my spot for a long time. Hanano's. Uh, yes. Let me know when, man. I'll buy you a beer at Hanano's. Let me know when. All right. Uh, lock up Mizzou plus the points at Ole Miss. Sprinkle a little bit of that money line. We also have the Brawl of the Wild on the Hardwood. Big Sky delivering tomorrow with Eastern Washington Weber and then Montana, Montana State. Last time they played Montana, one on the road by 10. Montana State obviously losing Danny Sprinkle to Utah State. They haven't been as good as usual, but they're still in fifth place in the Big Sky. They're they're not horrible. Um, What do we see in this lineup right now? See this right now? This is Montana game at. I am not seeing it right now. The Montana's is at seven. You got to take the dog. Yeah, I'll take Montana State. They got yeah. every reason. Bobcats. They got every Baby reason. Bobcats. Yeah. Pacific is at Gonzaga. Gonzaga's like 31 fucking points. 
God damn, they've come a long way in one week. Everybody said they were fucking done and <laughs> called me a jackass when I locked him at Rupp just six days ago. Dude, that like Loyola 30. Marymount game. That Loyola Marymount game. I will remember that on my deathbed. Um, oh my God. I'll lay it, actually. I think Pacific's quit. What are you doing here? Agreed. Yeah, I, I'll lay it. I think Gonzaga's going to find a way in the tournament. San Francisco is heading to Loyola Marymount. The heartbreak that LMU just went through with a limited roster. And now the Dons get to get to come in after that tragedy that happened in uh Playa del Rey pretty much. Um blowout. Where do you see this line? San Francisco's laying in eight that. and a half. Yeah, lay it. Lock San Fran. Well, I'm not locking it, but lay it. At the body. Yeah. Play it. Um, the chat's asking. I, I am still seeing Kelly LaPepe is out. Same with Dominic Harris. Yeah. So yes, they're still out. They're still Sam out. Brandon a lot of their team. Lot, uh, l- l- I'm laying the eight and a half. Seattle is laying six and a half at Utah Tech. Lay it. Seattle team's decent. I'm taking the points. Fuck. Give me Dixie State. Arizona State is at Arizona. Arizona State <laughs> won in Tucson last year on a fucking seventy footer to win the to win the game and save Bobby Hurley's job. <laughs> Wildcats are laying nineteen and a half points. I gotta Ooh, take the points. I'm, I'm taking the points. I'm taking the points. Dude, it's a late night lock. We gotta lock Arizona State. That's what I'm saying. It's too many fucking points. The Super Bowl. Arizona's coming off the back to back road wins at Utah, at yeah, Colorado. Yeah, yeah. I'm all Let's over go. Arizona. Let's State. go. Let's go. Give me them Sun Devils. Wyoming travels to San Jose State. San Jose State's laying one and a half. Give me Wyoming on the road. Give me Wyoming on the road to get it done. I was with you. Cowboys. Colorado's at USC. Colorado's laying one and a half. Oh my God. Give me the buffs minus one and a half, but this is certainly not a lock. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'll go the other way. I'm locking USC. Colorado's going to fuck their tournament resume up here. It's like you I can it. see it. I, I can totally see it. I've seen yeah. this. Uh, Moneyline Mac locking up the Trojans of USC. Fucking TMZ, man. They're going to fuck this whole league up. <laughs> Portland is catching five and a half at Pepperdine. No, give me Portland. I can't lay five and a half with Pepperdine. The fuck is this? Yeah. What are you doing here? Uh, give me Portland. I'm with you. Oregon is civil war on the hardwood. Oregon is laying seven in Corvallis. <sighs> they've, they've been all right at home. They've been ass on the road, but Oregon yeah. state's been all right at home. I'm taking the beeves. You could talk me into a lock. I'm with you here. Final one in Corvallis. This is the final one. Get up spot. I think they win it out. Right. We got, we got, we got a, we got a, we this got is their Super Bowl. Nice beaver. Give us the beeves plus I say seven. Seven and a half. What was that? Seven or seven? Yeah. Seven. Flat seven. I see flat seven right now, but you might be able to get a seven and a half out there. Uh, Santa Clara's laying five and a half at San Diego. Oh, how crazy this, this WCC has been because wait, did I say that correctly? Santa Clara's laying five and a half at San Diego. I, I got to take San Diego right now. They're, they're winning games. Give me Lavin and, and, and the Toreros Mac. I'm going to take Santa Clara. I think San Diego's due for a clunker. I, I watched him the other night. Very fortunate. I'm taking Santa Clara. Bakersfield is at Irvine. Bakersfield's getting 16 fucking points. We, we <laughs> should lock Bakersfield, right? Oh, or is it a trap? 16. What's Irvine? Irvine's off a of bye though. And they came off the loss of Riverside. Yeah. I'm off this game. They might fuck them up. Man. All right. I'm still taking the 16. Santa no Clara lock. might be a lock man for me. No, no, I'm on none of those, but you might be able to talk me into this. Nevada's at UNLV final game of the night. This game's awesome. This rivalry. 
I think is one of the more underrated rivalries. I've 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 been to Reno, done stand up in Reno, done stand up in Vegas a bunch of time. I mean, we go to Vegas all the time, not even stand up related, but the people that actually live in Vegas and the people that live in Reno, specifically Reno, I guess, they hold a lot of animosity towards UNLV and Las Vegas. And it's uh it's fun. Steve Alford coming off the loss is heading into Las Vegas. And uh, I think Nevada can win this game. I'm going to take the one and a half with Nevada. I don't know that I'm going to bet it, but damn it. I will. I love this game. Remember they got that big ass, they got a, they play, play for that big ass cannon in football. It's fantastic. Yep. Best trophy in sports. If you ask me, um, I'm on Nevada. What are you doing here? I'm on UNLV. Yeah. I like, I like Vegas here. Fringe lock. Hmm. Want to battle here? It's a standalone game. We might as well. If you Let's want to do Alfred. it. Let's do it. It's like the Central Michigan Western <laughs> yeah. Michigan game. I can't believe I'm locking up Alfred. Give me that, UNLV that's... all day, baby. Nightcap. Uh. See you all night. Picked on name. Riding with the Wolf Pack. Money on Max and give me the raps. The hardest part for me is I grew up a UNLV fan. I mean, it's just it's just this era. Look at that card. Look at that fucking. Someone yeah. take a screenshot of that. Look how many fucking games is on that. Yeah, it's fucking notes. It's old school, yeah. babe. Uh, yeah, that's what you got to do, folks. We are the college basketball experience. Let's go to our top play of the day. There's so a shit ton of games. Right. There's a shit ton of games. I actually think to me, I mean, there's a lot that I like, but. Uh, Handwriting definitely gets worse as the night goes on. It's definitely a little more standard. Down. That's standard. Yeah. I don't know. Like, one of my top plays, I know this. Uh, like I said, there's so many fucking games. I thought Virginia was one of the best bets you could do today. I don't know if that was my number one, but I do think Virginia is going to hit tomorrow. I feel very good about Virginia. I'm trying to think of some of the others. Like I said, on slate this big, it's hard to remember every single fucking play right now. Um, I know you disagreed with me and I know a lot of people did Kansas. Back against the wall for 30 point. I, no, but I still took Kansas. So yeah, I, I, yeah, I still took I Kansas. Kansas. I love Virginia too, though. Let's do a Kansas Virginia parlay, but we got to add a third and fourth leg. We got to well, add a third yeah, and fourth we gotta leg. Do, we got to do six on Saturday. Yeah. Let, I mean, let's do that. We could even break it down. Uh, Kansas, Virginia, first two legs of the parlay. Yep. Maryland. We both liked Maryland. Yeah, I just don't know if I want to throw that in the parlay, though. I think there's better plays than Maryland out there. I think a better play than Maryland is... Texas A&M? No. I, I don't think... I, 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 I still think there's better plays than those two. I think... Let me get a third favorite play here. What about... Vermont. What was that 14 and a half? What about Bryant against Lowell? Yeah, Bryant against Lowell. No, Vermont was only laying two. Oh, yeah, Vermont was two. It was the uh it was the Colgate game that was Colgate 14 and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Um how do you feel about Bryant being the third leg? Uh, I love leg? Bryant. Yeah, I'm with you. Okay, I like let's Bryant. put Bryant as the third leg. All right. Fourth leg. What about the likes of? Do you love K State? No, you didn't love K State. I know I took K State. <sighs> no, because we, no. we stay away from that one. What about Missouri? In the point. And by the way, I forgot to do Utah Valley at Southern Utah. What is that line? Um, uh, Utah Valley's laying two at Southern Utah. Give me Southern Utah to get that, but that's not part of the parlay. Right. What about Cal as part of the parlay? I love Cal. What about okay. Iowa? Bryant, Cal, Virginia, Kansas. I don't know about Iowa, man. Those four. Five, let's go. You like Greensboro at Wofford? You uh, like you like uh 
Middle Tennessee against UTEP. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Middle Tennessee. Middle Tennessee is leg five. Write this shit all down. Right. So I'm gonna hit you up for it. Uh, the sixth and final leg. Let's do a home team though. We need Georgia a fucking Tech. home team. All right, let's go Georgia Tech. Let's go Georgia Tech. All right, folks, that's the parlay. Recite it back, please. Do you have that there? You, you write it all down. Georgia Tech. Yep. Uh, Cal. Middle Tennessee. Kansas. Virginia. Who, who the fuck am I forgetting? Who's the six like? Um. Chad, help me here. You were just with Vermont, us. Uh, Bryant, 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 Bryant. 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 Yes. Yeah, yes. Bryant. That's the six leg. Let's fucking ride folks. Give Noah Beanick a follow on Twitter at Noah B 77 underscore. I know he's doing the baseball show right now, but give him a follow. The guy works hard. All right. Uh, Moneyline max on Twitter at Moneyline underscore Mac. I'm on Twitter at the Colby D the college basketball experience is on Twitter at TCE on SGPN. And remember folks, we will be live tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific, me and Terrell Furman will be talking college basketball line movement, our best plays. Shout out to the chat. 560 people watching right now. That's fantastic. Please, if you can, if you can, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We love this shit, guys. We love this shit. And uh, let's go. You know, uh, appreciate everyone tuning in. And uh, <laughs> Travis is killing me. Um, uh, fucking hilarious, Travis. I appreciate your humor too. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's roll. Let's roll. Uh, look, check out CJ Sullivan. We just did the, the college basketball weekend bombs. That's evergreen shit for Saturday and Sunday. Check that out. And, uh, yeah, check out the sports gambling podcast. Check out the big 12 college experience. I mean the big 12. Look, I know we like to bust max balls here, but you're crazy. If you think there's another conference as good as the big 12. In my opinion, at least this the past couple of years, um, the Big Twelve is incredible. Uh, so, and shout out to Robert Martin. Uh, Robert Martin, great guy. Been in the fucking chat for a while too. Um, uh, Trevor says, "Tell me a joke, funny man. What am I a fucking jukebox?" Um, I don't know. I don't know. What's the opposite of Christopher Reeve? <laughs> Christopher Walken. It's not even mine. Uh, but anyway, um, uh, yeah, check out all that shit. Check out the Ryan and Rush show. Check out the college football experience, the FCS college football experience. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys tuning in. 500. This is a fucking, I think, a record. I don't, I don't know. I think it's a record. I could be wrong. We're uh, up there. Yeah. Until next time, this is the college basketball experience. See you in the morning, folks. You better start thinking about yours. Hey, we are. Out of here. I lost a bet on the Super Bowl. So I had to dive in and crawl around through the snow. Don't believe me? Believe me, there's a video. We made it to promote March 5th and then we did the show. Before March, there was a winter to be lived through. And snow fell on the D.C. metropolis. In some other cities, this wouldn't be big news. But where I live, it felt like an apocalypse. Not the kind where zombies are the wrath of God. But the kind where Mother Nature doesn't laugh at all. I didn't laugh at all. I saw the sky smoking the blunt. Now waiting for the ash to fall. Traffic stalled for a few weeks. Capitol Hill of snow taking up a parking space. A couple notches on the beltway ain't unique, but higher in freezes get more than your heart to race. I mean, the rats were frostbitten. They lost it, risking their lives just to make it to the office. Exhausting, caustic, cold front rose up through the mid Atlantic and did its damage. Detective Baylor didn't expect a camera and brought a gun to a snowball fight. I know my rights in the season of mood swing. Some of us winning, some of us losing. That broken clock's been thinking since winter. I hope it's not telling me I was born to lose. I lost my temper, but I found my center. Winning winter, so I can stay warm with you. That broken clock's been thinking since winter. I hope it's not telling me I was born to lose. I lost my temper, but I found my center. Winning winter, so I can stay warm with you. So I can stay warm. says you're beautiful little snowflakes i say that you're snowmobiles with no brakes this isn't how normal feels it's so fake 
I need more to shovel while the humble hovers above us, lovers and haters of a collapsing rap stars. NASA is my backyard. The chain link fence couldn't contain the frozen rain that caused the middle madman to go insane. I wrote a name and spray paint for Valentine's Day. She didn't feel the same. I was out of line. Hey, a cold shoulder. There's nothing new to the stone owner looking for a froze over Belladonna for snow blower. Bar. Temperature lower, kill the hot streak. They know I'm a broken clock and talks cheap. The homie gave and the bird caught it after the misery crew saw the storm growing faster as the weatherman got a lump of coal. Rambling for ratings in another month or so. There'll be a rush on gold, so put your luck on hold. Milk, bread, and toilet paper. Sold, but I, I gotta go. This is not for show. I read the yard and get my clock fixed before the snow falls. And all this is washed away. I see my breath in the air as I cry out, not today, not today, today. today, today. been blinking since winter i hope it's not telling me i was born to lose i lost my temper but i found my center winning winter so i can stay warm 